So let uh, may have your lordships can leave to file uh, without certificate. Without certificate. Okay. So date of the order. Well, at twenty uh, second of March. Well, this is a change brief. Twenty second. I have taken new new vakalat nama mala. Yes, yes. Right. Granted. Mentioning about uh, this upgradation. That's upgradation Monday. We have taken up yesterday almost fifty letters. Hmm? So I, we are doing something has been upgraded today also. So you please wait for Monday. Right. Hmm? May I humbly just pray for my Lord's kind indulgence, my Lord. Item number one twenty-two in my Lord's list today, my Lord. Ah. my Lord. This is in connection with an electricity supply connection where the Honourable Single Judge, my Lord, has directed uh, restoration of supply without payment of hundred crores of dues. My Lord, the difficulty at this stage, my Lord, is that the Honourable Single Judge, my Lord, is proceeding with the connected matters. In, in the other repetitions, my lord, we have specifically, emphatically, my lord has no, submitted before the honourable single judge, my lord. We, we have upgraded the matter at your request, my lord. Item hundred one twenty two. But what to do, sir? What to do, my lord? Uh, so please bear with us. Let us proceed to the list. Huh? Lord, no, we, not required. It's there in the list. We'll hear you. My lord, uh, may I have you? on Monday, my lord. We let us uh, see at the end of the day. Yeah, have your lordship kindly to mention. Well, I understand that your lordship is presently no, not. No, any mentioning. I understand. I understand. On Monday. There's some urgency because, my lord, the, uh, during the ensuing panchayat election, my lord, we have challenged the absolute rampant corruption of the panchayat pradhan since the panchayat election is upcoming. So, therefore, my lord, what I, is your item number? My lord, one is six three six of the monthly list of your lordships. Okay. Item number six hundred and thirty six of the monthly list. What that that do? is a difficult. Otherwise, I would not have but trouble. What to do? Yeah, every third matter is urgent. Everybody uh, Malad, wants to because of the election is coming. That is why, my lord. It's because because uh, he is the present pradhan, and uh, it's a public interest litigation. It's a public interest litigation. Which, because we have the documents. This item you said six six three six. Let us see. Hmm? And my lord, one one is fixed on first of May. So before that, the election will be held. Two matters. Let us see. In the evening, we'll discuss. Yes, I'm handing. That's over. not required. I have made a note. No, no, this matter would be appearing in the monthly list of May. That is why it is not in the list of April. Man, what is the uh... Uh, WPA number? WPAP ten of twenty twenty three. Ten of twenty twenty three. How it was directed to appear in the month list of month list of May. So how can that. we prepare that? Then I'm serving an notice upon the other side. You Take out an application. Take out an application. Fair enough. This one is item number six three six of the present list. That, that we have made a note on Monday. <clears throat> My lad, six thirty six. Wait without without certificate. Leave granted. Next. Grateful. Please call the list. My Lord, may I mention one new application, my Lord, only inclusion in the list, my Lord. 2023, fresh matter. My Lord. Yes. My yes, Lord. Sir. My Lord, just 30 seconds, I will waste of my Lords. My Lord, that contempt application we have been... Yes, already I was saying. My Lord, I... I yeah, day before yesterday. I, I, I'm, I'm grateful. You please just check up with the I, I shall, OSD. I I'm grateful. Appellate side, daily list, item number one. My Lord, I'm for the petition. I get to appear on behalf of the state government. What yes, is this? Number one to five. Lordship, this is my affidavit of service. What is that? Affidavit of service, Lord. Uh, what is uh, the prayer, sir? Matter is that, Your Lordship, uh, we are here before uh, Your Lordship for uh, modernization of the burning hut in the locality. Modernization? Of the burning hut, the Shamshan, Your Lordship. And uh, earlier we have preferred... But is there any scheme for this? Yes, Your Lordship. Mm -hmm. There is a scheme run by the West Bengal government uh, uh, in the name and style of Boitorin. Well, is a Boitorin scheme. Hmm. Well, we have to consider modernizing it. Well, no, 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 only difficulties. Well, there must be a first initiation by the Gram Panchat. That will go to the Jala Parishad. Well, three star Panchat is West Bengal, in West Bengal. Gram Panchat, Panchat Samiti, then Jala Parishad. But well, it is to we... forward it. If your Lordship kindly come to uh, Annex P3, page number 26, your Lordship. Page 26. Yes. What is the uh, the uh, learned video therein and the respondent number six herein? He has held a hearing and we have participated in that on seventh of April two thousand. Therefore, the understand so and so so and so to place an application before for development of so and so. Mm -hmm. That Your application Lordship, has been placed. He has instructed me to uh, uh, submit a uh, application before the panchayat committee, mm -hmm. and on eighteenth of April I have uh, uh, submitted that same. At page number 28. But 28. 20. And uh, you the... consider this application? No, no, can you see page 26? What are passed by the block of the That is, he invited our attention 
based on the direction issued by the block development officer yes. at page 28 he has given a representation yes. or application to the panchayat Sabha. panchayat samiti yes, panchayat, panchayat samiti you let you consider this i am not representing the panchayat samiti i am the state government Mala, this, uh, by this uh, by way of this public interest litigation the petitioner seeks for a direction upon the respondents to modernize a crematorium in bagbari village under the baitha rani hmm, baitha rani. rani scheme presentation forward the matter was brought to the notice of the block development officer tarakeshwar development block comma the sixth respondent and by by order dated 7th april 2022 the block development officer directed the petitioner to make an application before the panchayat samiti namely the seventh respondent seventh respondent in compliance with the direction the petitioner has placed an application before the seventh respondent on 18th of april 2022 which has been uh, acknowledged by the said authority since the application has not been considered the petitioner has filed this writ petition which is the second round of litigation yes sir lakshmi the learned uh, government council appearing for the state submitted that that uh, as per the scheme the proposal has to emanate from the panchayat samiti yes gram panchayat to panchayat samiti panchayat samiti to jila parishad uh, then it will go to the government for and uh, financial and after, uh, and after the recommendations the matter will be taken up by the appropriate authority of the state government since an application has already been directed to be submitted by the sixth respondent to the seventh respondent we direct the seventh respondent to consider the application and pray, make appropriate recommendations to the concerned authority within a period of 3 weeks from the date of receipt of the yes. server copy of this order the whoever is the said competent authority shall in turn in turn place the necessary recommendations before the appropriate authority of the government within a period of 4 weeks thereafter Deeply. and the appropriate authority of the government shall take a decision on the matter in accordance with the scheme as expeditiously as possible that petition is disposed of next item 2 to die appear for the I, state i am for the petition this is the apd bit of service apd bit of service on record very good mala the petitioners are the resident of babupur gram panchayat malda what do they want mala this submitted representation to the page district magistrate mala well, page 34 35 investigate and 36 investigate the matter what is the investigation kindly come to page application of money, money. In Ma- under mahatma gandhi national rural empowerment okay. guarantee scheme mala well, page 35 and 36 there, there is a representation as page 37 milot by the learned advocate on record and let it be considered by the district magistrate let the district magistrate consider it. the petitioner by way of this public interest litigation seeks for a direction upon the respondents three third respondent to consider the complaints given by the petitioner dated through his counsel through his advocate dated 18/11/2022 61/2023 72/2023 and 23/2/2023 in the said uh, uh, representation slash complaint the petitioner has made certain allegations against the ninth respondent uh, alleging that the that there has been irregularities in the implementation of the mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee scheme uh since Hello. the writ petition is being my, disposed my, my of my my irregularities and or mis- misappropriation of government fund my since we are disposing of the writ petition without notice to the uh private the 8th and 9th respondent we do not wish to make any observations in this order but to direct the <clears throat> um third respondent third respondent the namely the district magistrates and district po- program coordinator malda district to examine the complaints slash representations issue notice to the 
eighth and ninth respondent in particular, as well as call for report from the seventh respondent. And after hearing the writ petitioner, writ peti uh, uh, hearing the authorized representative of the writ petitioners, pass a recent order on merits and in accordance with law. In order to um, enable the third respondent to comply with the above direction, the petitioners are directed to <coughs> submit copies of the representation along with the copies of this order before the third respondent slash district magistrate. The above direction be complied with within a period of eight weeks from the date of... The only thing we'll add, may the district magistrate shall have the liberty to hear out any other necessary parties. Needless to state that the district magistrate will be, will be at liberty to hear any third parties who are required to be heard in the matter. I remain grateful, Milad. Next. Milad, within, within my Lord? Eight weeks. Eight, eight weeks. weeks. Milad, let it be four weeks, Milad. Milad Next. We are number Milad. three. What is this, sir? Uh, I appear with the state respondent. Uh, in, in this matter, I have challenged the appointment of respond number 10. Respondent number 10 being the principal member secretary of the Adapit Annoda Polytechnic College. Uh, the thing is this, as per government of West Bengal service rules, a person retires from his service at the age of 60 years. Therefore, he or she can be re-employed till the age of 65 years if he or she is otherwise deemed to be fit for the post. In this context, I would like to place an exchange P4. That is the memorandum issued by the government of West Bengal Finance Department. And next year, P4, page 24. Uh, in view of queries from some concern, from some corners regarding age and suitability of retired employees from other departments for re-employment in terms of this department's new number, such and such, dated 5-12-2011, the undersigned is directed to clarify as follows. Re-employment shall not be granted beyond the age of 65 years of age under any circumstances. Thus, the age of retired employee should not exceed 64 years on the scheduled date of joining, as the entire purpose of re-employment is to utilize the domain of expertise of the retired employees. It would be better to re-employ retired employees from the concerned department to avoid training involving additional posts. However, in case of shortage, retired employees of other departments may be considered if they are found suitable to perform the job. Uh, then in Annex Chair P5, the same is clarified to some extent that in this department's more number such and such dated 5 12 2011, decision was taken to fill up vacancies in different categories and at different levels from retired employees on contract basis on consolidated remuneration as detailed therein for a period of one year. Subsequently, their terms for such engagement were extended twice, firstly for a period of one year in terms of more number such and such dated 4 3 2013. And then for a period of three months under memo number such and such dated 21 4 2014, due to non filling up of vacancies of regular basis. Now, considering the need of the district level, the understanding is period of office, say, no, period of engagement of uh, Dr. Gautam Bandopadhyaya yes, yes, is yes. to expire on 31st of May 2023. Uh, it's, it's, yes. 2023? No, let the recruitment be done. Recruitment itself is a big issue, sir, here. Not she. Any recruitment is a big issue. And, uh, and I don't know whether uh, who is the petitioner, what is he? he? He is the local resident of Adhapit Polytechnic College. Right. He is a local resident. He's and got he... better work to do. And why are you not doing the recruitment? At... No, Malad, the, uh, the engagement is already there. You lost the dispute that is... we have seen, sir. That we have seen. The Lashi engagement Kali comes there. to page 29 once. 1 6 2022 to 31 One year engagement is there. Yes. yes. Why have you not initiated recruitment process? Well, that has been done. Lots of kindly have a look to page 29 once. Lots of yes, kindly. Yes, we have got page 29. Page P8, page 29. Yes. But his case is his case is that this gentleman, uh, Bandupada, has been engaged beyond the age of 65 years. Yes. That's his case. Now here, my Lord, I, I, I just I got it yesterday, but I have got some instruction. I don't know whether the private respondent has been served or not. Private yes, respondent has not been impleted. No, he has been impleted. Who is the one? He is the only private number who impleted. Uh, we have served. What do you? Uh, every service, uh, yes, every service is there. 
Where this is, is the evidence? Because he will be affected. That's why he has. Gautam Bandopati has not implied. Yes. Show, show. Which this respondent this number, number I think respondent number ten. ten. That is by the post, not by the. By the post. By the post. <laughs> Your yeah. allegation is against the person, saying yes. that he is overaged. Yes. So your uh, reputation is defective. If you want to withdraw, otherwise we dismiss it. Yes, Mala. That's. And now, what is his age, Doctor Bandopati? Yes, age. Mala, he has crossed sixty-five. And Mala, in all India Council of Technical Education rules permit uh, continuation of engagement till seventy years. So this. No, no, seventy years only for a vice chancellor of the university. No, no, no. Seventy no. years I'll only for a vice chancellor of the university. The private respondent. The uh, first, uh, we not have you permitted to insert the name of Gondu. No, no. no. <laughs> that no uh, let it be as it is. Just prefix the name Gautam Gondu. This by this way, by this public interest writ, writ petition, the petitioner seeks for issuance of a writ of co-warranto, okay. stating sure. that one Dr. Gautam Gondu Padya, who is presently the principal of the tenth respondent college, is not competent to hold the post. The allegations are. Made against the said person, uh, alleging that he cannot be engaged in the in the in the said post beyond the age of sixty-five years. We find from the cost title that Dr. Gautam Bandopatya has not been implicated as a respondent. Therefore, we permit the writ petitioner to withdraw this writ petition and file an appropriate writ petition implicating the proper parties. And the withdrawal of this and the petitioner will be entitled to raise all contentions in the fresh red petition. Next, next, next. That's a great. I don't know four. I appear for the state. Yes. Yes. Random is appropriate for lodging FIR against. What time for the petition, Malat? Malat allegation. How is this writ is maintainable? Sir? You you file an FIR. It is not there. You go before the magistrate. CRPC provides. I don't know these residuary matters. Appeals are coming up. A direction is issued to the local police station to construct compound wall. That man comes here and says, "Sir, I filed a civil suit. He has filed a civil suit. One is for declaration. One is for permanent injunction." The matter stands adjourned, and he takes a direction from the red court. This is not. No, no. If he had that the public, the public of the concern. You, you five, do whatever it is. We can't issue. Malat, like this public Malat, interest. Malat, Malat, kindly, kindly hear me a moment. The pradhan, pradhan. This is public representative. The pradhan for the development of the Malat concern Ram Panchayat. Malat, he floated tender and allotted almost all those tender to his family members. This is my allegation, Malat. But even the family members cannot participate in the tender process in terms of the law. And who are the family members? Have you implicated them? Yes, Malat. No, Malat. Malat. The allegation is that they are the he is allowed. Yes, sir. If members. that allegation is correct, then that pradhan has Malat, to go yes. behind bars. Yes, Malat. It is devoid of particulars. Particulars have to be given to. Yes, the... Malat. I have given the particulars. I have Malat. I have, Malat, I have Malat, collected those kindly documents from the RTI Act. Yeah, where, where, where is? Yes, the... Malat. Kindly, kindly see, Malat. Where Please. is your representation? First? Page sixty-eight. Page sixty-eight. Page sixty-eight. He has made allegation that he has, he has been allotted to the near relation, but but I have asked the documents. Yeah. What the documents. is the nature of tender? Yes, Malak. Can you see nature of tender is there, Malak? Can you page... please tell it in your own words, sir? Page sixty-eight. Installation of high mast light at Goa Godhar Moor Gram Panchayat Bangitola GP. Who has been allotted? Page sixty-seven. Can you see? Messrs T M Construction. The company, the proprietor, is his family member of the Pradhan. Le, the district magistrate will examine yes, by this uh, writ, by this public interest writ petition. The petitioner seek for registration of an FIR against the pradhan of Bangitola Gram Panchayat on the uh, uh, in uh, for allegedly awarding tenders to his family members, violating the various statutes. If the petitioner wants a criminal uh, uh, wants an FIR to be lodged. Then the remedy of the writ petitioner is elsewhere. Therefore, we cannot accede to the prayer sought for in the writ petition. However, we find a representation has been given on the first of December 2022 to the respondents and, in particular, to the district magistrate Malda. Therefore, without going into the merits of the 
allegations made in the representation, we direct the district magistrate Malda to consider the representation dated 1-12-2022 after notice to the authorized uh, the notice to the petitioner. All the necessary parties. Petitioner, petitioners or authorized representative uh, after hearing the petitioners or their authorized representatives as well as the uh, you should have implemented him by name. Yes, Malat. Ah, yes. I, I as well as the eighth respondent and also other persons in whose favor tenders have been awarded, examine all aspects in the matter and take a decision, uh, take a reasoned decision in accordance with the law. Yeah, the above direction be complied with within a period of 12 weeks from the date of receipt. Malad, he, will for, he will forward a copy of the representation along with All right. Malad. In order to enable the district magistrate to comply with the above direction, the petitioner is directed to forward a copy of the representation along with a copy of this order to the district magistrate. Malad, in the first part, you have lots of stated regarding the lodging of FIR. Well, the public cannot lose FIR. Public can point it out to the no, authority. No, no, it can it go is the to government the authority who can lose the FIR against the Prodhan. All right. We will decide and we will impose cost on that. We will decide on that. I don't know, five. These are all internal rivalries, sir. Your client has been set up by somebody as if we don't Malad, know. Uh, this Pradhan has taken charge in September 2020. No, no, we know. We know what is the background of all these publications. These are politically motivated. No, we we, we know. As if we are not as ignorant as you think. Malad, we have annexed all those documents. All right, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is this? Sir? Malad, this yes. is another Malad of the series of Ram Navami. But Malad, this is filed by Malad, the, uh, this Priyanka Tepriwal who appeared in person. Melod, we'll take this along. Yes, yes. Melod, it's with that only one thing I wanted to point out, Melod, as a matter of interest, considering Melod, what happened yesterday, Melod, Melod, she Melod, submitted that she was present at the rally. Melod, she's talked about everything but bombs. Everything else is there. That's all that I wanted to point right. out. We have heard the petitioner in person as well as the learned advocate general. Since the connected matters have been heard fully and judgment have been reserved, this, uh, this repetition also uh, be tagged along with those cases and uh, judgment is reserved. Somebody can inform her. Yes, my lord, I'll. Just join me. Next. I don't know, six and seven. Six, seven, eight. Mm. What is this? Eight. Oh. Let. <laughs> Six to eight is the matter. I got a bit... Your matter is listed, no? <laughs> I didn't know till well, late last night. Well, that... See, he has been mentioning from that day the old matter, some people are dying, etc. So, to just to instill confidence that things will work, you need to give us some time to settle down. No? There are 600, 700 PALs which have been never listed. I guess from today. <coughs> please somebody so and so please my lord, I mean, my lord, thought, my lord, my lord before your lordship my lord, take up. this up my lord this is purely a selfish request my lord on the first week your lordships went my lord by my lord the list so my lord i was seeing my lord it started from 2018 no, no. <laughs> then the next day my lord no 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 my lord, if your lordship no. just indicates that my lord i'll my lord, be no, my lord. What, what we'll do is certain matters of course we'll no, no, correct. we'll accommodate First, he says that at least I should be heard. No, no, no. I have no problem, my lord, with that, my lord. I'm just saying, my lord, to, today I was hoping, my lord, yesterday evening that again, your lodges will no, do no, some we, from, we, my lord, we, these and PILs. And then I saw, my lord, in the morning, my lord, the old ones, my lord, had come. 11 o'clock in the morning. No, oh, if oh. your lodges kindly takes up, my lord, order date is 21st September 2022, my lord. Some assurance was given by the advocate general. Let that be implemented now, first. 21st of? 21st September 2022. In contempt petition, let. Right? Oh. Right, I tell you, Rashim, that these matters, let's You so got a photocopy of that order? Yes, I have. Right. Yes. 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 Mark, yes. Mark, if you wish. Oh, that's in the contempt procedure. <laughs> Last page, Milad. Page number three, internal page. It further transfers that in course of hearing, this has happened. 
and then assurance of london advocate general mm. no namla the order was passed to directing the state to frames policy mm. was passed in the year 2018 mm. namla in that 22 malad they have framed the policy plan. very good Now, let that policy is yet to be implemented. Let for implementation of policy, let one part is let detection. Let they have to diagnose who are the silicosis victim. Now, let we have given a list of let six hundred people to them mm. in course of this proceedings. Let mm. let they have already let done the X-ray through private let diagnosis center. Let mm. let in respect of all, let report has not come. In respect of more than like four hundred, right? Now, like among the rest two hundred, they have already detected forty-five silicosis victims. Now, like this silicosis is a progressive disease, like right? that. After six months, they have to X-ray once again. Now, like it gradually like uh, deteriorates, like that. Now, like now, according to you, the scheme has not been implemented. Not yet. Now, like we have. What we have done, right? They have found my right, website. Now, mm. like, right, we have downloaded from the from the website, mm. and we have.
that's it yes ma'am 30th august order is not here by this uh, public interest writ petition the petitioner seeks for various directions to address the concerns of silicosis victims uh pursuant to the directions issued earlier sir bijon pai the silicosis rehabilitation policy has been framed by the state government the grievance of the writ petitioner is that though the policy has been framed the same is yet to be implemented certain statistics has been given with regard to the victims who have been affected by the said disease who have been screened for treatment but there has been no effective follow up action i list the the oh no uh, it it is submitted that the cause of this disease is on account of inhalation of uh, uh, silica dust silica dust primarily arising in the uh, during the course of produ production in cement factories comma in thermal power plants in mine in the in the mining industry stone crushing units etc after hearing the learned advocate appearing for the petitioner for a considerable length of time we are of the opinion that the state government should come forward with a concrete proposal in the form of a sop standard operating procedure within bracket sop the state government needs to address the issues under broadly under two heads firstly how to ensure effective treatment is administered to the victims of silicosis and more importantly as to how to prevent uh, persons uh, uh, persons employed in the above category of industries from being affected by silicosis the state government should also inform the court as to what steps have been in taken to implement the silicosis rehabilitation policy which appears to have been for formulated in the year 2018 no, no, 22 22 my lord we framed a new one my lord first one which was handed up was 18 my lord this is my lord 2022 huh? the learned advocate uh, general submitted that there are various statutes which regulate the manner in which these industries should function for such as the factory side it is no doubt true that there are several statutes namely the factory act the uh, uh, air prevention uh, that is air air pollution pollution that uh, an act of bolo tumne kisi bhi kiya hai air prevention air air pollution air pollution control and prevention act air pollution control and prevention act what is uh, air prevention air air control and prevention act Air environment pollution act air pollution control and prevention act air prevention control and so on so act and the water prevention control so on so come are the various enactments which regulate the mining industry etc but uh, the larger question is whether the these the whether the provisions in the various statutes are being implemented and as to whether there has been any directive given by the state government or other authorities for inspecting these units to ensure safety measures to the persons employed in those units um therefore we direct the competent authority of the state government to file a comprehensive report covering the uh, above uh, men above uh, mentioned concerns as well as other related matters let the report be placed before this court on the next hearing date matter be listed on 9th may in the daily list my lord only one thing my lord policy date is 17 december 2021 circulated for him my lord policy date my lord is 17 december 2021 hmm. circulated for implementation on 25th february 2022 a policy was framed in the year on 17th december 2021 circulated for implementation implementation on 25th february 2020 
Let me I seek two more indulgence let. For the present I think this will take care. Are you union acha to union ke bolo kichu korte. He set the ball rolling sir. We'll do something. Only I'm seeking her some no, means for this for the survival. The air prevention abhi to naam chhe chena. Jokhon tumi naam lo to don't to huh? Air prevention and control of pollution at 1981. Air prevention and control of pollution act 1981. And water? Water, same. Same time, year I shall give you. Year is different. Year, year is different. Year to the water act of 1970. You just check up. Environment to 1986. Water act of Next. Water. Prevention and control yeah, pollution. Yeah, 1974. 1974. 1974. Ah, 74. Oh, 1974. This is the air. That is water. Gotcha. Next. Item number 9 to 14. Item number 11 and 12, my lord. I am appearing on behalf of the petitioner. What is the issue? My lord, item number 12 and 13, my lord, I am appearing for the petition. Lord. Lord, Only matter, one thing, my lord, they are taking out an application. Lord, are, one lord. of you can tell what is the matter about. My lord, I still you lost his main application. One of you can tell or we will ask Advocate General to tell. Lord, or all of you take your seat, we will go through the papers. <laughs> Lord, only one thing, Lord, may I just humbly submitting, Lord, that Lord, two review applications are pending, Lord, which is not appearing in the list. Why court uh, so much? Which is that so much? ACU. Why, where, what is this so much item number nine? This one is it? This one. What is the prayer sought for in this? I mean, uh, direction. Oh, that's why I'm seeing the order. Thank you so much. Which is the order by which the case was taken up as so much? Well, I, so far, I can tell you, lawsuits, the main matter is item number 11 and 14. That is against the judgment of the tribunal. When my matter was taken up, Mr. Mukherjee, Mr. Tokun Kumar Mukherjee mentioned this matter, the Suomoto matter, before this honorable court, that this is in recruitment of police constable, therefore this should be hard together. So, so this matter is properly not to appear. Item 11 and 12. 11 and 14. 11 and 14. I can assist in year. both the matters to your lawsuits right now. Because those so are... So it concerns recruitment of police constable. Police constable male. I tell you, lawsuits, there are five points involved before your lawsuits. We succeeded in part in respect of one point and all the other points we lost. The point in respect of which we succeeded in part is that if a reserve category candidate has availed of benefit of concession, can he be migrated or taken into consideration against the unreserved vacancy? This was the first point. Well, we succeeded in part. We have shown before the learned single uh, tribunal that these are the 400 candidates. Well, these 400 candidates were illustrative because we didn't have the all the informations. Now, the learned <coughs> tribunal directed these 400 candidates, 400 odd candidates, should be Malad, ousted from the panel and panel to be recast. Malad, therefore, the correction sought to be made by the learned tribunal from the stage of panel, preparation of panel. But our co contention is that these corrections should be made from the very stage of preliminary examination, where cut-off marks was there. Because these 400 should have been considered as reserve candidates against reserve vacancies right from the beginning. Subsequently, after publication of the result at the intervention of this honorable court with all breakup of marks, we collected at our effort 1,000 more candidates, those who have been impaneled. Therefore, those persons have to be also removed from the panel. 
what the tribunal or the state has done in compliance with the order of the tribunal, they have prepared a revised panel, removing only 400. As a result of your lawsuits, 137 candidates were removed and 137 candidate of general category candidates came in the panel. But my contention is that this has to be corrected from the very beginning stage because it goes to the root of the matter. If a preserved category candidate availed of concession, he con availed concession from the very beginning. Therefore, Malad, kindly, kindly take an example. In the preliminary examination, there are cut up marks. Okay. General, Malad, ma reserve ST, ST, OVC. Now, Malad, ST, ST candidates or OBC candidates who availed of the age concession, but they got higher marks than the general category candidates, applying the principle that on the merit basis, they should be considered, they were taken against the unreserved vacancies. But they were not to be taken from the very preliminary stage. This point has not been gone into by the tribunal. This is first. The second point I tell you, law ships, <clears throat> key answer and OMSC. Malad, we prayed before the learned tribunal. Please provide us the OMR seat and key answers. Malad, answer seats were given to us, Malad, so far the um, uh, question, question sets. Now, Malad, unless the key answer we get, we are not, Malad, in a position to verify this. Now, in terms of the recent judgment of the Sunar Supreme Court in 2018, in all subsequent processes, even this commission, Police Recruitment Board, following that, that immediately after the examination is held, Question key answers disclosed, OMR seat published, they receive objections, if any, then form an expert body and then finalize the result. Supreme Court thereafter did not interfere with it on those. Not all that he had done in Malad, they didn't do that. Only the Malad, Malad and another matter, the tribunal passed an order, but the tribunal overlooked it that order. Now we have come to know at least in four questions, key answers, either all options are wrong or out of four options, there could be two right. Am I clear to your losses? Now, I give an example in respect of one question. Well, one question was, first pink ball test occurred in which country? Mm. Well, the answer would be Adelaide. But key answer, your losses, none. Well, the key, well, the question is, the options, Adelaide is not at all there. Then what, well, there is a negative marking? So, if somebody answers, which shoots to the wrong key answer of the state yes, provider. We follow, we follow. This is it. And the second, third point, your lordships, conversion of category. Malad, there is a no Malad, uh, clause in the advertisement that whatever documents you have submitted, that cannot be subsequently changed. Now, a person claims I belong to reserve Malad, general category. He applied for that. Malad, after the selection process rolls, he got somehow a certificate OBC. Now, his category has been changed. No, what happened to these candidates who are roosted? They are all parties to the pro procedure. Malad, there are private parties, all parties. And you are all appearing. No, not all of them, my lord. All not not thousands cannot be, my lord. My lord. But a considerable chunk of persons added. Lord, Mr. Mukherjee's appeal. candidates, my lord, were delisted pursuant to the order of the tribunal since the tribunal came to a finding that... And uh, you have challenged the finding of the tribunal? Yes, that part we have challenged. Which is your petition? 30 and 31. WPST 30 and 31. 12 and 13. 12 and 13 are by the unsuccessful candidates. No, we were successful. We were unsuccessful before the tribunal. No, Malad, we were not parties before the tribunal. You are not parties. No. Malad, I tell you losses. I, I made some of them parties. They appeared, they contested. Malad, who would be out of the panel? That was not known to us. But the commission would have issued notices to all the candidates. Not, candidates. not thousands of candidates, Malad, lakhs of candidates. A good considerable number of candidates. Malad, kindly consider Prabhupada Singh's judgment. Malad, if a number of candidates, Malad, a good number of candidates no. simply did. Who, who, there is, uh, uh, were there any candidates at all being appointed out of the selection? But after that, you'll see some of the candidates have been appointed because yes. the dishonorable court did not pass any order of injunction and on interim order. So the ousted candidates also have been appointed now. Ousted can now all ousted candidates no. no so what you could have done is you could have uh, taken leave of the tribunal to issue a paper publication saying that you have challenged the entire selection process, commencement of the preliminary examination itself and whoever wants to intervene 
like you can do it here i don't know now your losses i tell your losses ah uh -huh. probably that would not be necessary because your losses if i place your losses the judgment the uh, a considerable number of candidates contested that is true Shamalo, all of them need not be made part. My lord, on 22nd of September 2022, my lord, this honourable court was pleased to pass an order directing the state government, since we were able to demonstrate before this honourable court that substantial number of vacancies, my lord, have arisen due to some of the candidates expressing their unwillingness to join the service. And the learned advocate general, my lord, was fair enough to submit before this court that as on that date, there were 217 vacancies. So if your lordships may kindly take up the order of 22nd of my lord September, your lordships will find that direction was given to the state government to fill up the vacancies. My no, lord. That, that, to my lord. How, how is that direction going to help you? You may become overaged by then. My lord, one more thing, may I take your losses? My lord, these are creating third party interest. These are creating third party interest, your losses. Have, my lord, my lord, this no main matter should be hard. We and I'm on the main matter. We were successful. Our I'm... names appeared in the list, my lord. Subsequent to the order of the tribunal, we have been delisted. 27th of September 2022. Which is the lead case? Well, that's 11 and 14. 11 and 14. 11. 11 12. WPST 12 of 2022. Oh, for... Can we take up 14? That would be proper. All right, 14. 14. But uh, 14. But your losses will get the paper book compilation in 14. <clears throat> Advocate General, what has happened after this? No interim order. My lord, appointments have been made, my lord, training, everything has happened, my lord. My lord, what was happened, what happened, my lord, was over the direction of court that whoever's joining should be informed about this litigation. So that has happened. All appointments. And uh, so we need not wait for those people to join the litigation. It's up to them to. Correct, correct. My lord, we were, my lord, hearing, my lord, the main, my lord, uh, my lord, we were arguing the main matter. Then a couple of interim applications were made. My lord, I had said, my lord, that we really have no objection, my lord, if. My lord, we can fit in, my lord, couple of, my lord, the persons, my lord, who, my lord, had Adumdur. gone out. Adumdur. But, my lord, there is, my lord, I Adumdur. checked Adumdur. two cases. There seems to be a part, my lord, because Adumdur. there is no Adumdur. wait list. So, therefore, my lord, we cannot now, my lord, fit anybody in on the basis of wait list principle. Adumdur. There Adumdur. two Adumdur. Supreme Court judgments. We have to go in Adumdur. for Adumdur. fresh But uh, fresh uh, recruitment notification has already no, been no. Then, until it is uh, issued, can you not operate? I can't. I'll show the two Supreme Court judgments. One year is... Uh, yes, my lord, there is, my lord. There's no provision, my lord, in, my lord, the, about there being a wait list at all. So, my lord, whatever's, my lord, the panel, after that, we go to the next recruitment. My lord, in recruitment matters, my lord, I am, my lord, very conservative now. Paper book 12. Paper book 12. Should I place that judgment under appeal? Or we're just seeing what to do because the matter has to be heard finally. That should be your losses. We are consisting of. Well, it will take some time, but well, I can assure your lordship. Well, let let me start well, at least your losses. I am prepared because uh, it's ad, it has been adjourned at least three, four times on the ground of the private respondents. No, private respondents. They are they, well, this has been adjourned earlier because Mr. Mukherjee was not much senior Mukherjee. Shoknat Mukherjee. <laughs> So, Malad, I, I can place it, you'll also, it will take, of course, little time, so that they can, Malad, if other, all other learned seniors have their other business, they can do it because keeping their juniors on the bench, because it will take a little time. Well, I want to contest it, Malad, either way, you losses before losses. We want, I want to know the fate of the petitioners. And uh, uh, petitioner is not an uh, unsuccessful candidate. Petitioner, some of them, Malad, they are unsuccessful. In the process. They participated because, they participated. according to you, because of this, this change of this reservation, etc. They reservation have... and the Malad, wrong key answers, and then conversion. Some of the petitioners already joined the service. Yes, 
and how many are petitioners are there? So that doesn't they take have, they have no that, that doesn't take away the others' rights. No, no. Let us be clear. Uh, in item number fourteen, 14. You know, how many petitioners are there? Item number fourteen. I just tell your lawsuits. <clears throat> Uh, volume number one coin. It must be 398. Answer the question. I, Akash Bunia. Akash Bunia. And 397 others. So it will be 398 uh, petitioners totally. Out of 398, how many have been selected? Lord, uh, right now I can uh, give, I can't give you lost the exact. You need to give us. So that we first discharge all those. But in course of hearing, I will do it, your losses. And in another, there are totally Three applications before the tribunal. No, I tell you losses. If your losses discharge them, there might be some difficulties in future. Suppose your losses because of the recast of the entire panel. Suppose we allow your petition. Then your losses. And all those fellows who are now exactly joined, they will lose. That's so therefore your losses should not do that right now. <laughs> so that will be great difficulty in future. And for all of them were there because it says state of West Bengal and 4,528 others. So all the candidates were uh, almost all of them. Other people who are no? <coughs> how many posts were uh, notified for notified us? post? I tell you, lawsuits total. Uh, my lord, 2019 selection process. I 8, give you 8,419. Hmm? 8,419. Constable male, police constable male, 8,419. <laughs> And objection on the piazza is in right. Where is the Who is the evaluating body? Where is the standard? Uh, and an advocate general. Yes. Is it a fact that these key answers were never published? No, my lord. My lord, there was, my lord, a direction thereafter given. My no. lord. As per the recruitment policy, yes. first is you arrive at the vacancies and a notification is issued wherein you clearly mention which are the reserved category and which are the unreserved category. Then, based on the notification, applications are invited. Scrutiny of applications. List of valid applications are uh, I mean, published. Uh, invalid applications are rejected. And there is also a small window given to those persons. Suppose it is for a technical breach. This fellow has not enclosed this. He is instead of... Uh, but we can ask them to cure. Cure. So that window will be given. Then a final list is drawn. Then if the selection process consists of a multiple choice uh, preliminary examination, a descriptive main examination, followed by viva. The procedure is the moment the preliminary examination is conducted, test is conducted, the, uh, the key answers are published. And a time frame is given to the candidates to put in their objections. Those objections will be considered by the evaluating body and they need not once again hear the candidates. They will evaluate, the, um, consider the objections and evaluate it based on the final key. Then from and out of those, whoever got the cutoff mark will move over to the main examination, which will be partly multiple choice, partly descriptive. Same procedure once again. For a descriptive type, we can't uh, give a key answer. Probably some text will be there, the evaluation takes place. Then the final list of candidates with their marks will be published. Then the cutoff will be published. And after the cutoff is published, then the candidates who are fit to attend the Viva OC is drawn. This is how it happens. So publication of the key answers has, is a procedure now which has come to stay. So this should have been done. My Lord, it's not a, a, a problem, my Lord, with regard to, my Lord, publication and non-publication of key answers. The, my Lord, point which is urged is, my Lord, with regard to four of the questions, my Lord, the answers which were given, my Lord, either the question is wrong 
or my lord the so lord answers a, are wrong. the uh, normally courts have evolved what they do is they give full mark to all candidates who are i am not admitting that i'll show your lordship the question is right answer is answer right. all right my lord your lordship is right otherwise it's re reevaluation my lord which is done my lord by experts and my lord it's worked out my lord there's an adjustment with regard to marks because my lord courts today my lord frown again setting aside the entire selection process if my lord a readjustment my lord can be made my lord this is my lord but i'll show your lordships and my lord on the but basis how, of how long it will take for all of you to make submissions my lord it's already been heard for my lord i my lord i am appearing for in <laughs> item number so, 10 i tell you losses and my lord it will take some time i was not there in the matter my lord the my then lord, chief justice only, lord, sent for me only and one said, day my lord i was heard i was my lord continuing my submissions but thereafter your losses adjournment was taken my learned friend is saying one day with all respect to my learned friend on my learned friend senior grounds at least 3 days i'm not on that but thereafter the matter was not heard but now then the, we can't fix it uh, before vacation well let us continue because the third no, party no, no. then what will happen to the 6000 matters which are lying in the list we need to balance time what now i tell you losses how the interim order was not passed when this was first being you should have filed an slp against that order now well go to get to refusal of interim order i tell you losses when i am being moved me about the court room number 8 Mr. Tapan Kumar Mukaji says this is the Supreme Court matter. In all respect, police matter, there will not be any stay. Supreme Court has said in Swamoto matter, and my interim order was refused without hearing. Okay, I even could not place my matter on merit. That is all gone, sir. The long back which is. And now your lossy third party right is being created. I am also being aged. Day by day, I am growing. And which is that? Sir, I can tell you losses. I will be very concise. very very concise kindly hear it out uh you have provided Lord, all of you milad milad with regard to item number 10 milad my uh, case is uh, milad uh, suddenly different from his uh, case milad milad we are the civic volunteers milad we have 10% horizontal re reservation and milad there was a vacancy of anticipated vacancy of 847 and milad only 102 milad uh, civic volunteers have been recruited milad others who were left out milad they have been left out by way of setting a cut off marks milad which were not there at the time of milad uh, the publication notice milad the rule of game has been changed milad subsequently that is my all but without a cut off mark which selection can takes place milad cut off marks after the interview they have set no no cut off mark will be sir fixed by the selection committee yes it obviously every selection there should be a cut off mark milad at the time of written examination i could have understood but milad they have said milad after it uh, interview process was no, complete here it is a one written examination and one interview that's all yes or two written examination two written exam there's a preliminary two. preliminary and final. final then milad physical uh, uh, milad uh, pmt test and pmt then pet and then milad milad uh, may i tell you losses cut off mark there is another big issue in respect of cut up marks but well, there is no rule normally your lot right. all of you if you agree you prepare your notes of submission it should not exceed 5 pages all of you in the end we come ready with that and we will give you a date in probably uh first week of june with that you come but well, then your losses stay their hands in respect of any other appointments of police no 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 we well, that, that's the creating problem my lord no, you are 2022 matter sir you are 2019 matter 20 matter matter i sir my lord initially there was a stay there is no stay there, no no tribunal my lord these honorable court stay the proceedings lord all appointments after we succeeded in part then appointment lord lordship may kindly peruse this lord your lordship's earlier order september 27 2022 Mm. Milord, we have preferred a review, Milord, from that order, mm. and that Milord. those review applications are pending, which are not appearing in the list. Milord, what is list. that order? Yes, Milord, that order, Lord, she may kindly have a look, Milord. Milord, Milord we sir, have taken out an is... we have taken out an application seeking implementation of that order, Milord. That is the order that I was trying to draw to your Lordship's kind attention. It's not here, sir. It's very difficult to locate. Unless you got copies to us. Yes, Milord. Yes, yes, Milord. We have copies. It so is annexed you, to my application. You have also filed a review. No. He has filed a review. Yes, he has filed a review against that order. By that order, this honourable court was pleased to direct the state government, my lord, to fill up the vacancies which have arisen due to candidates expressing their unwillingness to join. Two hundred seventeen vacancies. I will show you a lot. As on that, my lord, may I deal with my lord two aspects which are being urged, my lord. Second of March, twenty twenty-two, my lord, interim order was refused, my lord, with regard to staying appointments. 
That's the first order. Mm. Second, this was reiterated. My Lord, in an order of 27 September 2022, when again, my Lord, a prayer had been made. Now, my Lord, kindly come to the order of 27 September. Please 20. read, we don't oh, have it. My Lord. You take the order and give it to us. Uh, please read. My Lord, it says, my Lord, my Lord, as I had submitted, my Lord, I had made a statement to court that, my Lord, persons who had been selected my lord after my lord the tribunal's order and my lord the panel my lord had been reworked my lord several of them my lord had my lord to copy uh, expressed unwillingness unwillingness my lord to my lord join my lord this resulted in my lord there being my lord uh, 217 my lord vacancies hmm. very good so my lord I had, my Lord, when this was pointed out and an application was made, my Lord, by persons who got removed from that panel, that these should be filled up from persons amongst them. My Lord, I had made a statement that I'm ready to fill up the seats vacant on account of unwillingness. Now, my Lord, thereafter, my Lord, an observation was, therefore, we, my Lord, the order is, therefore, we permit the state to proceed with the issuance of appointment orders for 217 by following applicable norms on same terms and conditions maintained, mentioned in the order of this court dated 2nd March, so and so in WPST. Uh, and my Lord, it, has, it also said state authorities will consider all the and will not exclude any of the deal if the candidate is otherwise entitled for appointment. Very good. Now my Lord, after this I examined the situation, went, sat with my Lord the relevant persons my Lord, I was shown, my Lord, two Supreme Court decisions, my Lord, which said, my Lord, if at the start, my Lord, there is no provision relating to waitlist, my Lord, then, my Lord, there is no question of even if vacancies are created to fill it up, my Lord, under the same process. So, my Lord, actually the review application now, my Lord, is meaningless. And because, my Lord, I would oppose the enforcement, my Lord, by relying on the two Supreme Court. The notification doesn't have. No, it does not. That provision is clearly bugged. Otherwise, either the panel is valid for a year or until the next notification is issued. That is the basic uh, law and service jurisprudence. Unless the subject to correction made by your this will be only unfair, this will be unfair. that our names featured in the panel. We were successful you can't, candidates. You can't operate that panel. You can never operate the panel. The panel got truncated. Whatever selection was done was truncated. Some fellows were thrown out. Some were uh, supposed to have been run. Yes. So, what is your uh, CAN number of implementation? CAN 2 of Malod 2023. Malod, in both the Malod tribunal applications, WPST 30 and 31, there are two separate applications. What is your review application number? Malod, RVW 16 of 2023 and RVW 17 of 2023. Well, what is the ground for review? My Lord, the ground for review, my Lord, we are the civic volunteers. My Lord, we have 10% okay. horizontal reservation and my Lord, this... that R RVW. You note down the number. 16 and 17, 2023. You discuss it. Please take down. CAN number 2 of 2023 in WPST 30 and uh, uh, WPST 30, 30 and 31 of 2022 and RVW 16 of 23 and 17 of 2023. We have heard the learned advocates appearing for the applicants and the learned advocate general the, appearing for the respondent state. By order dated so 27 September 2022, certain interim directions were issued by the Honorable Division Bench with regard to filling up of 217 posts which fell vacant due to the unwillingness expressed by the selected candidates to join the post. The direction issued by the Honorable Division Bench is to the following effect. Page 4 of the order, uh, paragraph starting, however, you uh, extract till the end of the order. Hmm? This is uh, Chief Justice Prakash Rivers and Bharat Vaj. CAN number 2 of 2023 has been filed in both the petitions seeking for implementation of the order. Uh, review application 16 and 17 of 2023 has been filed to review the order on the ground that the civic volunteers who are uh, got a reservation in the selection have not been taken into consideration and the direction issued to to uh, direction issued by the division bench uh, uh, would cause prejudice to them 
we have heard the learned advocate general on the set submission admittedly the no, in the original notification there was no provision for a wait listed panel to be prepared in any event the learned tribunal which examined the correctness of the entire selection process has al allowed the ap original applications filed to a limited extent thus thus the net result is the original selected um, uh, original uh, uh, list of candidates who were selected got truncated however it appears that since in the writ petitions which have been filed challenging the uh, challenging the order passed by the tribunal no interim orders have been granted as a result of which some of those candidates who were supposed to be hosted hosted out of the select list have also been appointed making it clear that their appointments will be subject to the ultimate result in the reputation thus the uh, order um, dated 27th september 2022 directing filling up of 217 posts uh, is not implementable and if implemented would be contrary to the decision of the honorable no, i'll give the two decision honorable supreme court are mama mark my lord i'm sorry my lord this is i've given copies my lord no 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 anyone one copy lord. Lord. not chips me kindly grant me an opportunity my lord to respond to this not request a uh, honorable supreme court in civil appeal number 8822-8823 of 2022 dated 12th december 2022 therefore the direction issued in the order dated 27 20 uh, 27 september 2022 with regard to filling up of 217 vacancies which arose out of uh, the uh, unwillingness of the selected candidates to join is set aside and uh, the said vacancies will be uh, and the, the the process of filling up those vacancies will be considered when the main writ petition is heard the learned advocates for the parties require a, a requ request for a early hearing of the matter um we have suggested to the learned advocates appearing for the parties that if all of them are able to prepare their notes of submission not exceeding 5 pages and would make their arguments concise this court will be in a position to fix the matter during the first week of june 2023 the su suggestion that second week my lord first day of second week my lord i don't have a problem second week of june 2023 the suggestion which fell fell from court was readily accepted by all the learned advocates so let the uh, full stop let, no, we the, want my lord that physical hearing also my lord yes yes the, no, just please. no no once you make your notes on submission what happens is your arguments gets channelized otherwise it becomes like an unruly horse going here going there so the notes of submission uh, prepared by the respective council shall be exchanged and advance copies be also served on the <laughs> learned uh, uh, government council so as to enable the learned advocate general to examine the same so list the matter on 12th june that lot chips have been pleased to quash the order dated 20 yes yes September. it cannot sir illegal keep bear it in mind my lord only thing that there has been no challenge my lord thrown to the order of 20 uh, it is uh, the review is there we will allow is review we well lot chips may kindly take up the review application then lot chips may kindly take up the order this is our order lot so chips slp you can see the ground of review my lord illegal that sir. they were not my lord given any opportunity on that day that WPST one of the, we have not appeared along with the other matters we, we have not said anything on his review this order cannot be implemented because of the supreme court decision is very clear okay and my lord could it be only one could it be 13th my lord because 12th will be half day my lord 13th if it commences 12th will be half day my lord pils my lord so could it be my lord uh, monday is your lordship taking it my lord only morning ah uh, yes 13th unless Beautiful. And it's not Let's Friday, my lord. So Tuesday, thirteenth is okay. So far, the first point is concerned your lordships. This point has become involved, my lord, in respect of all the recruitment process throughout the state. That uh, needs to be addressed. Lord, because, that's why, my lord, I am present because in India, all recruitment process, more particularly after the Right to Information Act has come, 
during before the publication of the results you can't ask the candidate cannot ask give me my answer script the moment the result is out he can ask for his answer script yes under the rta so the please revamp or uh, redo your rules even but in the subsequent process they have done we have taken out an application showing that evidence you the same code you should have challenged the notification at the first instance the notification but did not contain it right up through the interview my lord 19 of them my lord have also taken up my lord the appointments that's 19 lord. out of those petitions my lord if that if yes my lord in these hard days i i can't control a person who gets a job but that cannot be a ground taking out the right of other person ultimately sir that's what we are saying the same person he is a red petitioner he is red petitioner allowed he lose his job exactly your lossip i i may i may, may i be more frank to your lossip i am questioning the reservation point some of the clients belongs to schedule caste schedule tribe they have got the relaxation benefit again they have come in the zone they are now tracking going behind so these are the best best advantage for the state to rule them out that cannot be a ground before the court of law but i want that i want i am pressing the point to be decided what you can do is if you can make like the four points of argument five points you argue then supported by some decisions we will conclude this but i i have to take your losses little bit of facts of that yes yes obviously charo to what i am trying to change just touch us now i tell you lossip in regard you can also give a list of can red petitioners who have been selected and that will do uh, probably what uh, slotship is suggesting is we can transpose them as respondents because if they are the petitioners they have succeeded and they are now challenging that order it will be inconsistent no my lord initially they are they are in the red petition but this has happened during the pendency of the red petition no whether they can now maintain well there has to be community of interest my lord amongst yes. my lord all red petition highly consider that that's whether they can still maintain the red petition jointly with the others mm -hmm. my lord in fact i'd go a step to argue that on that ground alone the pit entire petition should be dismissed <laughs> no no i'll cite a judgment on that that's yours so mr so, <clears throat> so, sanyal will think over it yes <laughs> get full next i don't know 15 to 19 Report Millard submitted by North Eastern Frontier Railway because Millard the railway tracks belong to that territory. Okay. Yes, but Millard that report has not been circulated, so Millard we could not even respond to that. And what is the order dated? Uh, that order, sixth of February. No. Yes, my lord. Kindly have a look at the order of fifth of December, twenty twenty. Yes, my lord. My lord, this is my lord the last of my lord the. My lord, the orders, my lord, uh, which my lord uh, was my lord effective. My lord, the report was to be collected from Northeast Frontier Railways, and my lord, on that basis, an exception to be filed. So, my lord, there was that no require. Now it's a swarm out of action. Yes, yes. Now uh, unnatural death of uh, elephants, bisons, wild elephants. Yes, my lord, we've given a comprehensive report, my lord, the state. My Lord, we have divided the state. But in, in a red petition, we can only monitor. Correct, correct. This is my Lord. Uh, my Lord. What we can do is, if you have a committee, that committee uh, consisting of the forest officials, yes. railway officials, and uh, yes. civil servants, or whoever it is, let them continuously monitor. Yes, my Lord. I have my Lord. Only way out. 
Where Mallard, is that comprehensive report? Mallard, this is Millard uh, filed in Jan a year ago. Millard with uh, spiral bound Millard, which I had. I don't know Millard if that is there. If it's no, you just hand over your copy. We we'll just go. Sorry, Tom. Acha, acha. Oh. This concerns only uh, all wildlife. And ultimately, what is the recommendation? Of the Millard, the recommendations I have, Millard, also prepared, Millard, a Millard uh, summary. Millard, a two-page summary, Millard, after Millard hearing, Millard, your know, Millard own lengthy reports. Millard, I thought, Millard, I'd Millard, prepare, Millard, Thank you, a summary. Sir. Millard, I don't have copies of it, but I... Millard, oh, which one is this? Huh. Millard, it has the benefit of a cover page also, Millard, which I don't have. Millard, I was a bit confused Millard, as to what I'd read. Millard, the first report, which says summary of report, is the Northeast Frontier Railway report. The first page, Millard. And Millard, kindly forgive the abbreviations. Millard, instead of information, it's info. Millard. So what yeah. we need is this uh, monitoring and... Yes, Millard, we have Millard. Uh, okay. Millard that we... is what is required. Millard, me, Millard, the High Court Administration, we also favored with a copy of this Millard comprehensive we report. Will give Millard you spiral winding. We will give you one copy. We will dispose of the red petition. Okay. Huh? These red petitions have been filed as a public interest litigation, one of which is a SOMOTO red petition entertained by this court, taking into consideration the unnatural death of wildlife in northern and southern West Bengal due to human activities uh, and rampant development in certain areas. The orders and directions have been issued from time to time, and ultimately, in terms of the directions issued, an expert committee was constituted who has submitted a <coughs> elaborate report uh, in January 2022. The learned advocate general appearing for the respondent state has submitted a brief summary of the report. The, the, uh, the report, firstly, deals with the compliances by the railways and the forest department. Um, after having gone through the elaborate report prepared, what strikes our mind is that the suggestions at various levels appear to be uh, effective suggestions. But more importantly, what is required is implementation and continuous monitoring of the various aspects that have been flagged in the report. Similarly, the report has also dealt with the habitat protection in corridors within bracket northern landscape by securing connectivity corridors and formation of ma master plans to protect these areas, comma, launching awareness programs and skill enhancement programs for on-site training. Report also deals with the ecosystem restoration of protected areas, semicolon, revival of Buxa, B-U-X-A, Tiger Reserve. My Lord, prey has just been introduced, my Lord. Hmm? There was shortage of prey. Hmm. Millard, we have introduced Millard uh, prey now because it's going to be, it was a tiger Millard reserve. Tigers had gone, leopards were there. Millard, now we are re going to reintroduce tigers. Millard. The report also deals with the linear development, namely uh, the railways, the power sector, the roads, etc. With regard to the southern landscape, the report has made uh, recommendations for better management of Mayur Jharna, Mayur Jharna, Millard, Mayur Jharna, Elephant Reserve, and Elephant Capture and Translocation, 
protection of elephant corridor enhance enhancing people's tolerance of elephant damage by excretion payment promptly after conflict for crop slash property damage and loss of human life through pradhan mantri bima fasal yojana further for stopping of retaliatory killings comma managing elephant population my lord here my lord your lordships will find a question mark my lord contraception my lord the supreme court had said no now my lord all state governments my lord are filing my lord for my lord contraception on the basis of another my lord uh, 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 procedure management of you, you remove that so my lord all all states are my lord applying to the supreme court for modification of that order uh effective conflict governance and and other issues um thus it appears that um necessary inputs are in place and all that is required is to implement the suggestions slash recommendations made by the made in the report for which all the agencies involved for protection of the of the wildlife should diligently discharge their role we suggest to the government to form a high power committee consisting of officials from the forest department from the railway administration um senior ias officers etc who shall be a monitoring committee so that the recommendations made by the expert committee are implemented in full such monitoring such expert uh, monitoring committee shall be constituted by the state government within a period of 3 months from the date of uh, the receipt of the survey copy of this order and the committee shall earnestly discharge their duties by effectively monitoring the entire aspect so that the wildlife in the state is protected and safeguarded oblige the above observation direction and, and melot page 35 of that report your lordships will find melot the expert committee members melot it was also drawn from melot the melot uh, page 35 melot from the and the senior what is it uh, ias officers and other uh, um, officials and stakeholders some ngo also can be we have my lord kindly see my lord at the bottom onimesh bos ngos also hmm. this mayur jana elephant reserve but uh, there is no tiger reserve is it this uh, baksa no, no. my lord baksa my lord we it's there it's mentioned my lord we have now introduced my lord prey my lord tigers had gone my lord we have introduced but where are these uh, royal bengal tigers my lord sundarbans is one my lord that is my lord the my lord main area but my lord we have had my lord an exponential growth my lord regarding my lord jaldapara rhino population my lord in 1984 my lord there were 15 today there are 292 so my lord we have my lord suggested to the national uh, uh, highway authority my lord to have my lord underpasses because they my lord actually my lord are much better for the animals they my lord don't have the conflict with traffic and my lord so that my lord they can be shifted my lord across to another area otherwise there are a lot of fights my lord amongst my lord male and sub adult my lord rhinos melod which is melod resulting in melod rhino deaths now who has got so concentrated melod in jaldapara melod mm. that uh, this is melod so become a problem relocate. yes melod shift them it's the same melod uh, uh, melod uh, grassland but is across the road so melod we go underneath melod like what happened with pench this book melod me we just people had enlightened with a copy, copy of the of report and the melod i'll give a copy melod if my learned friend melod 
collects it, my lord, on usual charges. My lord, no, my, lord, my, lord, my, lord, okay. my lord, I had, my lord, the difficulty. My lord, getting something presentable, my lord. After. Or what you can do is, we can give one copy. We will give one copy to you. So grateful to you. One, yes, one copy you give, one copy you retain. Yes, Hmm. Well, this is enlightening, my lord. We would like to go through. All... My lord, I'll, I'll give it, my lord. No, no, this is not. It's going to be there. Yes. He can have this. Yes. So why, why you? So Apart from the cost, it's waste of paper. <laughs> and he's for the. My lord, I can, my lord, I can give my lord soft copies to everybody, my lord. If that that you is... can do. You can ask your genius yes. to send. Yes. It. Oh, and uh, whether it's here or with him, it's going to make. No, no, that's. Difference. So great. It's with the high court. Next. Next. I don't know what, 20. No. I thought the petitioner in this matter, my lord. Yes. <laughs> His application is for a correction of judgment and order dated for 1 2021, my lord. And last portion of the judgment and order, which was passed by the Honorable Division Bench, presided over Mr. Justice Sotratil, Chief Justice, since his deceased, my lord. So, last portion of the order, that is 44. That is page 44. Page 44. Yes. Last portion of the order. It has, that was not submitted by the petition and Milord, wrongly incorporated in the judgment sheet. And in connection of this matter, Milord, the one SLP was filed by the petitioner before Honorable Supreme Court, Milord. And that order, Milord, I am showing this order was <coughs> passed, giving liberty to the petitioner to file a Review application and pertaining to the qualification of the respondent number nine. Now, yes, this, uh, you know, you have filed an application CAN 2 of 2021. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is correction for order, judgment and order dated. Judgment oh, and order dated, so, Milord. Supreme Court has given liberty for filing a review. Review. But can, how we can uh, That's my submission. Lord, uh, correct the order. Similar matter but, uh, correction against that order, Milord. The petitioner went up to Supreme Court. You give and the order of the yes, Supreme Court. Yes, yes. copy Devan. Correct. You yes. file a review, it will no. be listed. After obtaining the judgment and order by the Honorable Supreme Court judgment below, then I am to file that that order was passed below 5th April. That is correct, sir. You are, you we cannot correct the order. Yes. You file a review application. Yes. There, there will be technically there will be a delay. That section five application you file. The review will be listed before the division bench, to which Justice Arjit Banerjee is a party. We cannot entertain this application because the Honorable Supreme Court has granted you liberty to file a review, and review should have been filed within thirty days. But by then you had challenged it before Supreme Court. Therefore, you can say section fourteen that. The period has to be excluded, etc. You file a review, that liberty will grant. No, within the time, will order, I will file the review application. That is up to you, sir. We will no, do no. that. Uh, the judgment, I, I am to obtain Lord, the judgment and order passed by the Supreme Court. Thereafter, Lord, I am to file, file the application. Sir. Now, which is and that can application which you have filed for? Lord, can I, can two, Lord, I appear for the person against whom he has all the allegations under the sun. Now, Lord, CAN 2 is the application. Lord, he filed, two of Lord, he filed a PIL, Lord, in a service matter. Lord, the Honorable Division Bench was of the opinion. Considering right. Gurjodhan Sahu, Lord, it is not meant to So, Lord, the Honorable Division Bench recorded his satisfaction. Right. And can, CAN 2 of 2021. This application has been filed by the... The petition was booked. Lord, after hearing the petition, my Lord, my Lord, uh, asked the petitioner, to withdraw this year. Yes, on the basis of that submission, the petition was withdrawn. Yes, my lord. However, they came before my lord. The application filed before your lordship for correction of the <laughs> order. That but can't that, be done. That application is not maintained not at made. all. This application, can number two of 2021, this application has been filed by the writ petitioner to correct and modify the fifth paragraph of the order dated yes. 4th January 2021. Passed in WPA 23240 of 2019. The learned advocate appearing for the applicant submitted that as against the said order, the applicant had filed specially petitioned civil diary number 
three six eight four one of twenty twenty two by the before the Honorable Supreme Court, and by order dated five four twenty twenty three, the Honorable Supreme Court permitted the petitioner to withdraw the SL specially petition with liberty to file a review petition before this court along with the re relevant documents pertaining to the qualification of the ninth respondent. Uh, with, uh, with uh, therefore, it is submitted by the learned advocate for the petitioner that the po that portion of the order uh, passed by the division bench needs to be corrected. In our con in our view, such an application for correction of an order and judgment ju judgment and order uh, is not maintainable, even as per the liberty granted by the honourable Supreme Court. Uh, if the uh, if the uh, uh, peti applicant slash petitioner see, uh, seeks for any relief, it should be by way of a review petition, and the prayer sought for in this peti application slash petition cannot be granted. For the above reason, the petition is dismissed. Grateful, my lord. Yes. Next, give you application. Uh, hmm? You file it. You file it. Next, next, next. Call, call. I don't know, 21. Victor, let's see why big to appear on behalf of the petitioner. My Lord, what I... for this suit? Happened, say, relating to a jail death, my Lord, of 37 years old lady, my Lord. She had been transferred from, my Lord, Dom Dom Central Jail to, my Lord, Hooghly District's jail, my Lord. After a particular jail riot was taken place in Dom Dom, Dom Central. Yes, yes, prison. you said that. And, no. my Lord, what a compensation has been well, paid. Compensation, compensation has been compensation paid. I respectfully part, submit nothing remains of this application. Well, compensation, compensation has part, been Lord. given. Reports one, have been one at a time. Well, my humble submission is twofold. One, my Lord, 37 years old lady, my Lord, then kept in solitary confinement in the name of segregated isolation. And third, well, on 23rd March, he entered into the jail. And 28th May died. And she was kept alone. And this is the horse of the provision of the law. Who, who, and, is, who is the red petitioner? My Lord, this petitioner is an organization doing work in the field of, my Lord, the human okay. rights. Now, what, what, what is the relief you are saying? Well, the relief twofold, my Lord. Investigation okay. is required to be made as to how, my Lord, the provision of the law you has been... registered a case of suspicious death. My suspicious death case has been registered, my Lord, no action so far has taken. That, that, that we will direct the investigation to be taken to the logical end. So, my child keep it pending. My Lord, otherwise, my Lord, it may not, my Lord, my Lord take, my Lord, take it logical. Why, who, who are the kith and kin of the victim? My Lord, kith and kin, my Lord, his son, her son is there. My Lord, her son is, my Lord, in Balur Ghat, the, almost in the uh, North Bengal. My Lord, he, he is not able to reach each and every occasion before this honorable court. But, Doesn't matter. But he will be paid compensation. But compensation also, my Lord, the bigger amount, 4,75,000. Lord, he knows, my Lord, that celebrated judgment of Baloram Shah. My Lord, Kunal Shah judgment, my Lord. Here, my Lord, the Honorable... See, unless and until uh, through investigation it is established that it is on account of police excesses. All, not police excesses, jail staff excesses. Even Correct, the same. sir. Violation, etc. And negligence, my Lord, is on the face of record. True. Honorable... So, for the present, let the kitten kin of the victim be satisfied with what they have received. But only, my Lord, allow me, my Lord, to submit, my Lord. In, the provision is very clear. When a particular lady is there, my lord, he should she should be kept in That's cannot correct, be kept sir. in isolation in this fashion. You, you have said this on the last hearing Lord, also Lord, Lord. that the the uh, what is it the uh, the concerned standing orders etc. Very clear, clear. very clear. Now you want an investigation to be done. Who is investigating into the matter? My lord, the investigation is over. The uh, if my lord will see the report, the state has filed two reports. My lord, one was filed on first thirteenth uh, of January twenty twenty one. My lord, that is the first report that was filed. Hmm. We have got the report. My lord, will see paragraph six at page two. No, we don't have that report. We have got some report of twentieth uh, of April twenty twenty. Not report. What twenty. Is at the very outset, my lord, she was kind enough to direct them to file a report. Uh, uh, lord, the first what? report was filed in January 21. Uh, report in the form of affidavit filed by the fourth respondent. Fourth respondent. Lord, there are two. One is uh, one was filed uh, in November 2022 and one on uh, in 18th, January 21. 18th November. My lord. My lord will see paragraph page 2, para 6. Page 2.6.
Malo, the case was uh, duly made and no, no, that case is Dom Dom Central Jail case. My Lord, thereafter, she was, my Lord will recall, this was the time of the COVID. She had been shifted to the other um, cell, uh, other uh, uh, correctional home, and she had been kept in isolation for COVID reasons for some time. The, at the time when she hanged herself, my Lord, there were 39 inmates in the, in the female ward. But she was kept in isolation. No, my Lord will... in the case of a death by suicide, you normally investigate what will be the cause of the death. Was there any instigation by somebody or was it out of frustration, depression? It's my a Lord. case of suicide inside a correctional home, which is a very serious matter. My Lord. Ah. My Lord and it has happened within 24 hours after she was detained. Allegation is she was in solitary confinement. 64 days, my Lord. 64 days. 64 days. Not only she was there for days. almost two months, my Lord. And she was not in solitary. No, what, is, what does your report say? One issue is compensation. My Lord. You said NHRC guideline 4 lakh 75. My Lord. What about the investigation which has... Should you not Lord, take the it The inquiry me? was made. Disciplinary action has also no, been taken against where the border. That is domestic inquiry. My Lord, in no the... criminal my Lord, inquiry or investigation. My Lord. That your report doesn't say so. My Lord, the second report, my Lord, that is with... My Lord, then I will come back with a fresh report or further right. instructions, my Lord. Uh, the uh, the uh, appropriate uh, respondent... My Lord, the son has been paid compensation. The family is right. not complaining. All right. That... The, uh, the appropriate respondent shall file a, a report it's clearly setting out the steps taken to investigate the cause of death of Sheila Shah, who is said to have died by hanging Sheli Shah. Shah on 28th of May 2020. Though two reports have been filed by the appropriate authority, the report does not deal with the aspect as regards the investigation done by the appropriate investigating agency on the death of the said person while in custody, while in the correctional home. Let the matter appear in the monthly list of May 2023 and the report be filed by then with the advance copy being served on the learned advocate for the petitioner. But investigating agency here means, my lord, the police as well as CID, my lord. My lord, Let them come for with the report. Hmm. Next. Deeply obvious. I don't know what 22. Deeply obvious. <clears throat> yes, my lord. I am for the petitioner, my lord. In this matter, I am praying for not today, my lord. Why, why? Because Mr. Swarup Banerji appearing in this matter, he has not come today due to his illness, my lord. Because this is the third occasion, lord. We are dragging the proceeding. Dragging my lord, the lord the kindly take it on Monday. Take it on Monday. Suffer. It will go to June. No, my lord. No. Lord, going June, lord, we have some difficulty and that is taking... Then it will go to July. <laughs> lord, we have filed an application because the pendency of this application, lord, has caused, lord, real hardship to, lord, the applicants. We are not party to, lord, to the proceedings. We have filed an application. Since there is an order, lord, passed by this honorable court, the entire process of mutation, registration, and not everything has been... Correct. Stopped. If conversion is illegal, so it has to not. be stopped. They are complaining of blood in respect of two plots. But I have filed blood a supplementary affidavit. Blood yes, that would be blood. Your lordship would kindly and say... And what is the prayer sought for in the written You don't have the brief. No, my lord. Prayer? Ah, yes. Mandam is directing the respondent, particularly Mayor Asunso, to start an inquiry into the complaint uh, representation exhibit annexure P1, P3, P4. And who is the uh, authority who has to inquire into the matter? Well, since it's a land matter, well, the authority is the concerned block additional district magistrate of that district. So, my lord, under ADM, my lord, SDLRO had the, my lord, had inquired mm. into this initially preliminary by the block land and land reforms officer. Thereafter, subdivisional land and land reforms officer mm. had also inquired, my lord, and they found 
that huge area Malad, were converted without having the permission under section 4C. All right. Well, what action was taken? Right. Show cause was issued to them. Malad, they need to reply. And as also a fire was filed against the landowners who are the plot owners of that respective mojas and plot hmm. plots. But against them, Malad, we have filed the FIRs. Malad, this is the position. No, they have not. Uh, after they have show cause notice, what happened? Uh, thereafter, Malade, some hearing was taken place. Malade, that is not it. And uh, the in... person who is violated or who has done the illegal conversion, you are all parties. No, to... Lord, I, yes, I'm... my lord, they are also involved in this case. Wait, they are. You are not parties to the writ petition. No, no, we are not parties to the. You have filed an application. But I have filed an application, lord. What is the application number? But the application oh. number is Can One. For addition of party blood, my client is blood Netflix Homes Private Limited. Ah, can one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And there is a direction to file a supplementary affidavit. Hmm. You can be allowed to be a made a party, but you have to face the inquiry. But we 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 will. We'll definitely. No, no, you are. I think they are putting it. We in have not. Not by. You are. What is the applicant? No, but two without for addition of parties. Without the complaint lodged by them, without the writ application itself, my name is not there. Even inquiry was held. Without the notice. One fortune in private. Wait, wait. This is a public interest petition. Probably he will know. Five people have done it. There may be five hundred people. It is for the who appears for the state. I am appearing. You are appearing. It is for you to take it to the logical end. Then how will people see water bodies are converted into uh, what is the classification called? Uh, yesterday we saw. Oh, oh that is the classification. Is called uh, Bastu. From Shali to Bastu. You you are see, actually it's all the collusion of the officials. Malad, I'm afraid, Malad, not so, Malad. That's why they are coming before this court because it is all the more better if they are here. They can't say they were not heard in the matter. So you take you you are they were given a notice, Malad. But under the you, land reforms act, difficulty is Malad. We can only identify the landlords because who is whose name are up in the record of rights. We can file an FIR against them. Malad, sir, FIR is for the wrongdoing. How to set right, if according to you, the reclassification was illegal, you need to set right that. Yes. So we, we have, we have requested them, we have direct, rather not request, Malad, we have directed yeah. them to restore it back to the original position. If it doesn't happen, you have got the power under the act. Yes, we'll have to do it. And Malad, the cost of the... Ah, yes. Restoration would be taken Let from not be aggrieved on that. Let, Let him be heard. Let Lord, him be heard in Lord, the Lord, she would kindly appreciate My Lord, also, Lord. they are constructed that area. It Lord, will be demolished. Lord, it will. Lord, we will not be aggrieved on that. Lord, we are happy Lord, if that is dis right. dismissed. Lord, we have come before your Lordship, Lord, and there is a liberty, Lord, to file a supplementary evidence. No, no. Lord, I have, and, Lord, there is a liberty. Lord, I have and prepared it. Sir, why, okay. Lord? I have shown Lord. We are not the block. Uh, what we see, officer. kindly allow me to. Well, Lord, I have Lord pointed out the Moja map which is available Lord, with the state of West Bengal. Their specific grievance is that Lord, in a particular plot which is a vested land, there Lord one fortune infra has raised, raised construction. We have not done anything. We are Lord far away or little far away Lord uh, plot holders. With my uh, client, Lord, they are Lord into Lord developing Lord A. Uh, they are developing a project now, the residential complex with the permission of the local authority and with the Lord consent of the municipal authority as well as Lord. There is a uh, uh, authority called Asansal uh, Municipal uh, Development Authority. So, Lord, because of that, Lord construction in the specified area in a particular plot, which is Lord vested land. The entire thing has been stalled. Blood, we are aggrieved to that extent. Blood, whatever has happened in that particular blood vested land, blood, whatever steps blood state takes, blood, we bow down to that. But that blood, that's correct. Now that you have been issued notices, you respond. We have replied. Uh, you submit the reply. He will pass on. Blood, that. your lord should kindly do that. Blood, let it. Let let but the ADM take a decision on the on this. As I tell you, lordship. Because there should not be a stalemate. 
suppose there is nothing wrong with him there is wrong with somebody else he should be allowed Obliged. to proceed Obliged. right please. and a wrong doer you bring him to books hmm? by way of this public no my lord yeah. Yeah. in this case the government of west bengal submitted report and my lord kindly we are not here to monitor all that this is the maximum relief we can get in this report yeah. by way of this public interest petition the uh, petitioner seeks for a direction upon the a mayor slash administrator of asansol municipal corporation to start a complaint start an inquiry into the complaints made by the uh, writ petitioner and others with regard to illegal conversion of uh, the lands in question yes, uh, we have elaborately heard the learned counsel for the parties and perused the materials which are placed on record including the reports submitted by the appropriate authority from time to time uh, the learned advocate the government council appearing for the respondent uh, resp uh, official respondents would submit that show cause notices has been issued to all the all concerned and inquiry has also been conducted but however uh, uh, there is no specific written instruction given to the learned government council as to the outcome of such inquiry I'm sorry to but my lord one more thing my lord kindly mention that fir has also been lodged against the all right wrong the learned government council further submitted that uh, an fir has also been lodged against those uh, uh, persons who are allegedly in, engaged in the conversion unauthorized conversion of the land in question uh, the newly implicated party that is can application 12 uh, of 2022 allowed can 2 of 2022 is an application for addition of party that is allowed huh? the newly implicated respondent uh, in the, in their affidavit have stated that they have not violated any of the uh, uh, statutory provisions and it appears that another company has been developing What's a project for we should mention that another is company is Absolutely. developing a project which is far away from the uh, land hmm, uh, on which the mallet acquis company can be added as a party added party um what did it is which the newly implicated party has uh, made the construction full stop in any event the appropriate authority under the relevant statute having initiated an inquiry come on the matter should be taken to the logical end and after if the enquiry has already been completed then orders have to be passed under the relevant statute and the and effective steps should be taken to implement those orders parallelly the official respondent should ensure that the investigation into the fir which has been lodged is completed in early day and if, if an offence is made out yeah, a charge sheet should be Uh, laid against the um, accused therefore we would direct the official respondent to complete the inquiry in cases where inquiry is yet to be completed and if inquiry has been completed final orders shall be passed within a period of 3 weeks from the date of receipt of the server copy of this order and it is not sufficient that the, instead of well, i'm sorry four instead weeks. of 3 weeks well, and as per the statute well there is a provision well all right to, uh, uh, to complete the in accordance with law well uh, in accordance with the not the for 3 weeks in accordance with the time limit prescribed under the relevant statute that giving up and uh, the authority shall ensure that the orders which have been passed are implemented with utmost seriousness so giving opportunity of hearing lot to be passed uh, in cases where inquiry is yet to be conducted it is needless to state that the notices should be heard in the matter huh? there is a order blood to file supplementary if it did not let me why since there is a direction blood to file on particular two more ja morish court and gopal pur the in, in terms of the directions issued earlier a supplementary affidavit has been filed by the applicant in can 2 of 2022 1 and 2 1 and, and 2 of 2022 however since we have Nothing. issued the above direction disposing of the writ petition the uh, government set out in the affidavit are not dealt with and it will be well open to the respondent 
to urge all the grounds before, before the appropriate authority. But your lordship says blood official respondent blood. Uh, your, if your lordship instead of that blood ADM LR blood of the is the blood. there is a difficulty. Blood that was under section. We will bring down the blood ST LR. Next, next as a post of deep level. Next. Next. DHA. Next, next. I don't know, 23. In item 23, I am for the state respondent, led by Ms. Chama Mukherjee. What is this? They are not appearing. For three hearings, they have not appeared. Yes, Malo, they have taken time for repeated occasion. Malo, I am leaving to your lordship. Perhaps they lost their interest. None appears for the petitioner. You are for the petitioner. Yes, yes. Ah, sir. very good. Welcome. My lord, <laughs> there is a uh, small problem here. This basically pertains to seeking compensation. And the scheme formulated for compensation. For what? For the um, um, Amphan uh, victims. The Amphan cyclone victims. Now, this happened in 2020. Now, I need to ascertain what is the current condition. I need a small adjournment. No, mandamus so and so set aside the Dwaray trans scheme. Yes. Announced by memorandum dated as far as compensation for loss of crop. Yes. And uh, why, why that has to be rescinded according to you? My Lord, the issue in the scheme, in the Dwaray trans scheme was that the scheme was formulated in a manner where a farmer or an agriculturalist seeking compensation has to show the amount of land that he owns. Now, the problem with majority of the agriculturalists in Bengal, especially the uh, cyclone suffered area, are people who do not really own their own land. They do, uh, do they practice ag agriculture on another person's land. Some arrangement may be there. Yes, but they cannot show that it is their own land. But the forms with the scheme have been formulated in a manner where I have to show what is my land. That was one no, of the... if you are able to establish that you are in possession of the land or your cultivated land, that will be sufficient. My Lord, the problem is these things happen on verbal uh, verbal agreements at the... That is correct, sir. He can um, take a letter from the landowner saying that yes. I have permitted so-and-so to cultivate on my property or something like that. Yes, the issue there is... That inquiry can be conducted. Yes, then, then that inquiry has to be conducted at the behest of the government or on behest of the court. No, no. Who is the disbursing authority under the scheme? My Lord, this has come back after a very long time. If my Lord kindly gives me one... <laughs> because... Who, who is the authority? My Lord, uh, Sir, the this... administrative department is the agriculture department. I May I make one submission, my Lord? No, no. See, I, this is a very vague prayer. Um, have you got any instances of applications being rejected? My Lord, I'll have to ascertain all of that. No, no, no. Because this, it's happened it's a long time. It's not going to take you anywhere, sir. 2021, you filed the request. Yes. Correct. Can I get there? Are, there, are, there are three orders saying that none appeared for the petition. So you take this opportunity today, make your submission. Okay, I we'll give me one short date. No, short I adjournment need... will be in July. I'll come back. And if there is a genuineness in the public interest petition, you should be ready 24-7. My Lord, the, I'll, I'll be very, I'll be very uh, candid, my Lord. This has come back after, after some time. True. Be happy that it's come. Yes, just give me one short date. I, I, I'm really, what I can do not say have is those, this concern expressed. Today. See, you can't be uh, like, uh, ask us to do a... No, no, I, I, I admit. I admit. That's why I'm being very candid. So what you should do is bring out five instances, six instances. Because some research has to be done before you file a PIL. Yes. You can't just drop a letter and come to the high court mm -hmm. and affirm an affidavit. But, so that in that inquiry, you could have taken samples. Like five applications were rejected. Because I didn't have my uh, kata or pata or whatever it is. I, I have evidence to show that there were standing crops. Mr. X is the owner. He has not objected. Only problem will come if you have encroached government land and cultivated. I don't think. I don't. I don't think that is so the case. That even they have made out. What we will say is hmm. that the wherever Amphan victims are not able to are not owners of the land, hmm. but they have got proof to show that they have cultivated. The agricultural department will issue a direction to the concerned authorities to examine this aspect, bona fide. 
because most of these schemes the victims don't get compensation the people who control the victims get the compensation that is that is exactly why fear so we will issue direction to the second respondent my lord may I make one submission because my lord this matter we have filed our opposition nobody is done ah oh, there Have is made any allegation that this persons have not got no no no, no. Mm. no. He... So the, the challenge was only to the way the scheme was formulated so we will issue a direction sir wherever compensation has not been paid on the ground that they are not owners of the land the authority may examine as to whether he is a bona fide claimant there were standing crops on the land and he did cultivate that's a question of fact to be established see when tsunami struck the shores of the state where i come from lot of people had fishing boats they were residing on the seashore houses got washed away they had no record at all but then contemporary records are records which are relatable to like if they had a ration card or had a voter id based on that they they were classified and said they are resident of that fishing village they had a catamaran or a small uh, motorized boat they had to produce something to show some diesel receipts registration with the fisheries department they were compensated boats were repaired see when you come with a pi i think what has fallen from my lot it is not like blame game no no i uh, i completely admit in fact what has fallen from my lot is i think very reasonable we will especially see. given that i am coming back after two and a half years may i just take instructions on this not if required not required you after... please hear this order by way of this public interest petition the petitioner express, expo, uh, exposes the plight of the persons who had lost their crop on account of the amphan cyclone the, though the relief sought for by in the writ petition is to set aside a portion of the scheme relating to the compensation under the head inverted comma loss of crop comma by efflux of time we are of the view that uh, no useful purpose would be served by examining as to whether the particular clause in the comp in the compensation scheme should be rescinded modified or cancelled though the writ petitioner has raised many concerns the it has been failed to be uh, uh, he has failed to point out even by way of an illustration as to any of the victim any of the persons who have not been given the compensation on account of not producing documents to show that they are owners of the land it is it is submitted by the landed advocate for the petitioner that there are many victims who have lost their crop which they had cultivated on the lands owned by others by grant of permission by the land owners which are mostly oral permissions in any event this issue cannot be examined in a writ proceedings by way of an affidavit but can be examined by the appropriate authority of the department of agriculture or the concerned authority whom before whom the claim for compensation has to be laid therefore we would direct the second respondent namely the department of uh, agriculture second respondent is malot only one thing that i want to point out malot in this matter malot we have used our affidavit hmm. affidavit has been filed and another thing malot the concern that they, they he is raising malot no, the actual beneficiary nobody is coming forward correct, correct. saying that this these are the loopholes these are has to be looked into therefore malot his contention is completely malot belied hmm. that is exactly uh, why the, the public interest the, the department of agriculture i do not have to satisfy the on the department Lucas. of agriculture government of west bengal huh, to issue appropriate guidelines as rightly pointed out by the learned government council appearing for the respondent the aggrieved person is not before the court nor the public interest litigant who has filed this writ petition has brought out any positive instance any instance of any person whose claim has been rejected on the ground that he is not the owner of the land 
therefore on the on such way governments we cannot issue the direction as sought for in the requisition however considering however bearing in mind that if there is a genuine claim made by a person who has made cultivation in a land owned by the another person with the permission of the land owner and has lost the crops uh, uh, on account of the amphan cyclone my lord uh, it should not be it is the yas cyclone not the amphan cyclone uh, it is the yas 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 uh, uh, he he should not be non suited on the sole ground and the appropriate authority can examine yes ma'am such application on a case to case basis yes with the above observation the reputation stand is disposed of thank you thank you call you not 24 24 malad i am appearing for the west bengal pollution control board malad respond number 3 to 6 malad yes. i am for the state i am the polluter my lord i am the person malad file this written application malad my lord before the lord may be permitted to file malad my give up malad malad i just i formulating the fact malad malad one interview was malad all for regarding my lord the appointment of junior research fellow my lord oh it's a service matter yes it's my lord it's a service it's matter a... my lord file in guise of public interest no 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 yes. my lord yes. no no let him my lord sorry. my lord i am not on the my lord the regarding the issue of service matter my lord or any service dispute my contention before your lordship my lord subject to lordship kind sanction from the initiation of this my lord the advertisement or the my lord the process of my lord the uh, uh, recruitment my lord on the basis of the my lord the malafide and malpractice why i am training my lord my lord kindly come to page 21 of my deed application 21 my lord is the advertisement yes my lord there are the criteria my lord i am not on the point my lord there is a criteria my lord that is in bold valid net gate my lord got it my lord therefore my lord it has bold and my lord marked as a bold therefore my lord this this requirement is one of the my lord the premier or most important requirement so for the uh, my lord the recruitment board is concerned my lord this is required one person so far my knowledge my lord i gathered who rank 3 and got the job he has not cleared the net valid net and gate my lord i am not my lord relying on my document just i am relying my learned friends document from their affidavit in opposition yes my lord kindly come to page 35 perhaps my lord of the affidavit in opposition then my lord i am yes page 35 the priyanka mondal page 7 my lord there are other issue regarding my marks and other i am not on on my lord just i am for the prima facie satisfaction of your lordship my lord priyanka mondal my lord got it this educational qualification column msc marine science such and such phd from such and such no valid net gate she has got phd my lord, i am i am coming coming then my lord the consideration part my lord the the last last the consideration has completed phd after qualifying such and such i will show before your lordship that he has not completed the phd that is one of it's the it's a clear service matter you no know, i i am no, i am not it's on it's not a writ of covenant no this priyanka mondal you have not impleted as yes, i i have implicated party here sir my application was there my lord subsequently central government and my contention is that if recruitment board has my lord the display the thing that these are the criteria the valid net gate can be considered along with the phd other person can avail this interview the petitioner was also a participant no no, no i am not the participant i am the person my, my lord your public interest public interest it is and if i am a participant my lord my case was no because it can be disputed my my is that my lord sub, sub, subject to lordship kind sanction someone my lord today i advertise for my clerk in my office for 10 plus 2 12 12 is required there after my lord someone came here my lord and i allow him that he has completed bridge course that my lord if i no, so, from what little i know net qualification is not required when a candidate possesses a phd yes my lord that is as per ugc norms ugc norms it is clear so if a person has a mphil also he has to have net or slick or whatever it is the national evaluation test uh, uh, he has to undergo and and the recommendation says considered as per him has completed phd after qualifying ret examination 
and none of the aggrieved persons or non selectees are before the court no that that is in respect of their selection my contention is that if there is malad many person can happen now what i am telling if my larnet can shows if my larnet can shows a single document that as on the date of review you are improving your case based upon his affidavit in opposition yes. as a public interest litigant you should have made the research before yes i have i have you should, no you have not implemented initially the selected candidate it is subsequently can application was filed uh, on no yeah, after not not of after opposition malad prior to that i have implicated the priyanka mondal in a party malad my can application is prior to that malad very very prior to that and uh, i have it's clearly a service matter malad what i what i am malad what i am malad these practice has been adopted malad on that day when the recruitment were kindly asked my learned friend to show that on that day malad he was clear the phd or not if he if he shows the document malad i have no case by the, by this writ petition styled as a public interest litigation the writ petitioner seeks to question the selection of one priyanka mondal uh, to the post of what is the post fellow scientist uh, fellow scientist as fellow scientist in the west bengal pollution control board my my lord may i interrupt my lord my lord kindly sorry my lord i never my lord when read petition i have made the rti my lord kindly come to page last and next year you lord. please hear uh, we have heard you sir huh? priyanka mondal so on so the uh, according to the petitioner the said candidate priyanka mondal is not qualified to be selected to the post as the basic requirement as notified in the selection in the recruitment notification of possessing a qualification in net net has not been complied with by the said candidate the learned advocate appearing for the uh, writ petitioner has drawn our attention to the annexures filed along with the affidavit in opposition on behalf of the respondents 3 to 6 and submitted that that under the column education qualification of ms priyanka mondal it has been stated that no valid valid net slash get get it is seen that in the said tabulated information the recommend under the column recommendation and ranking it has been stated that the candidate was considered as she has completed phd after qualifying ret examination according to the writ petitioner he the, the, according to the learned advocate appearing for the writ petitioner comma it is uh, they, they it can be established that the uh, candidate has not uh, does not possess the said qualification which has been uh, recorded by the selection uh, panel in the, under the column recommendations and ranking from all the from these facts it is evidently clear that the present writ petition is clearly a service dispute is a service matter not a dispute service matter and the settled legal principle is that a public interest writ petition cannot be entertained in a service matter therefore the writ petition is dismissed as not maintainable however we make it clear that we have not made any observations touching upon the merits of the matter and would leave it open to the aggrieved person if advised if uh, ad- aggrieved person to take up the matter if so advised right thank you next great one call and then give the report next i do not 25 and 26 yes Lord Shri, in item number twenty-six, uh, Lord Shri, Mr. Shubir uh, Shanal is appearing. Lord Shri, I am praying for you. Do the matter today. Short pause, Lord Shri. I am not actually briefed in this matter, Lord Shri. Thank you. Lord Shri, don't record. Ah, uh, Miss Shraddha Shatpati is not. Uh, she is not appearing in the court today because uh, due to her illness. Ah, uh, I am praying not to this way. अच्छा 
what is this uh, mallet, uh, there was mallet some mallet theft mallet of material supplied to panchayat mallet for mallet relief mallet to the mallet the local residents on account of amfan mallet there was an allegation mallet that these materials had been siphoned off mallet stolen and mallet were being mallet uh, distribute uh, attempt was being made to mallet uh, uh, sell it off mallet this vehicle mallet was apprehended material mallet recovered and mallet investigation conducted and now mallet two charge sheets have also been filed relating to this on the basis of mallet three fir that's, that's the relief they wanted yes so that's mallet happened mallet already and mallet they also, want a cba investigation yes mallet its charge sheet mallet has been filed mallet its well, they can go there if they are not happy mallet with mallet the charge sheet before which court is it mallet this is mallet i'll tell you lochit mallet uh, you can goshirhat uh, north 24 pordonas uh, if you want a reinvestigation to be done, you can always approach the concerned court. And my lord, the prayer sought for was to conduct a proper investigation. Lordship, that is the lordship. Actually, the the very process of the investigation by the lordship, the concerned police authority, that is lordship. The trust is no more there with the lordship because the the way sub, uh, charge sheet is submitted lordship from the material. But how to examine that in a repetition? You say that this has been a if no investigation has been done, we can direct the investigation That's to be done. Right. If For already that reason, a charge sheet has been laid Lord and you want a reinvestigation in the matter, there is a provision for that. Everything you want to bring in a writ petition, we can't understand sir, how these prayers were. Initially, you're right that if they have done nothing about it, some fellows walked away with the entire relief material, sold it in the market earned out of it, they sat tight, well and good. We can direct something to be done. If the investigation is not proceeding per, uh, uh, on a proper manner, or they have foreclosed the issue, saying that the crows and birds took off, or elephants took off all the material, then we transfer the investigation. Here, it has gone to that stage. Rit petition was filed in the year 2021. And it has come to a stage where a court, competent court, has ceased off the matter. We give liberty to the aggrieved person. If at all you want a reinvestigation to be done, further investigation to be done, CRPC provides for so many remedies. In fact, the prior sought for in the red petition to a certain extent has worked itself out. So that and what is the value of the material? Uh, nothing much, my lord. There were, my lord, utensils they mentioned in the charge sheet, my lord. By this red petition. Designed as a public interest. Lordship, the uh, value of the materials is about one crore, Lordship. Where is that mentioned? Lordship, may, I, may I humbly submit one thing, Lordship? May. Because the Lordship, the process of investigation is not Lordship that we are not relying because right. the independent authority may be entrusted with the All Lordship. Right. By this writ petition, styled as a public interest litigation, the petitioner seeks for an issuance of a writ of mandamus to. To. Um, conduct a proper investigation with regard to the theft of relief materials sent by the district magistrate civil defense department to the people affected by Amphan cyclone. And also to call upon the respondent as to why proper investigation should not be made by the Central Bureau of Investigation and add the relevant provisions of the Indian Money. Penal Code. The, the petition was filed uh, during 2020 on during what date it was uh, during August 2021 and reports have been filed from time to time and the undisputed position as on date is that the investigation has been completed and charge sheet has been laid before the which court you said, sir? My lord, it is uh, additional chief judicial magistrate. Additional chief judicial Boshi, magistrate. Boshi Ghat. Boshi my lord. Boshi Ghat. North 24 court. Okay. Any number, case number is there? Uh, yes, my lord. Uh, charge sheet number 37 of 2022. In, in charge sheet number 37 of 2022. And my lord, there is a second one. My lord, which is my lord, uh, charge sheet number 39 of 2022. And there is also another charge sheet number 39 of 2022. In our considered view, 
the investigation as done by the state police having been taken to the logical end and charge sheet has been laid come on if any aggrieved person is of the view that the investigation has not been done in a proper manner and reinvestigation or further investigation is be, is to be made uh, we grant liberty to the concerned person including the petitioner to approach the concerned court by way of an appropriate application which shall be considered and disposed of in accordance with law the above observation the petition disposed of next these are two matters my lord i do not 27 okay so for the 27 i'll for the petition well here the petition number 1 2 through my lord are the shebites and other uh, petition number 6 the having land adjacent to the temple and other the default devotees before my lord uh, before there is a petitioners well what happens my lord there is a temple he is excavating sand from the river yes and not only that not only that my lord not that for transportation of sand my lord he is using the pathway which belongs to pwd and the result is my lord the all the pilgrims my lord they are registered from going to the river ganga Now, and it is a old temple in the falta area well it's a separate representation has been made for the concerns in nothing now uh, the ninth respondent is the person who is doing the mission yes and he has been served yes yes, yes. he is appearing well it only one thing well and where is your representation let us see that page well that is in bengali well kindly lordship is there he will well kindly see page uh, 17 Well, an inquiry should be made. Yes, definitely. And a report is to be submitted. There, there are two issues. One is illegal um, uh, collection of sand or uh, from the river without any authority. Authority. Number two is blocking a pathway to a temple. I have analyzed the photograph. That pathway is a public uh, road or a, what is it? Partly, Which... partly of the temple and partly of the PWT land. Well, I have annexed the photographs with the read petition. Well, yes, I saw the that. photos. Yes, yes. You are for my the... lord. My lord, respondent number five, Mr. Shorji Sen. He uh, who's not... respondent number five? Respondent of five. I. And who is the fifth respondent, sir? They are saying well, right from the beginning that is a public, uh, private matter. But the pilgrims, my lord, the devotees, my lord. they love this uh, temple and their worshipers also you are for the superintendent of police oh, already the respondent number 5 is a my lord i am praying for a short pass my lord my senior is engaged in another court man also my lord i have sent for my brief also my lord kindly pass it over now you are appearing for which respondent my lord respondent number 5 5 5 5 is superintendent of police no 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 फ्रंटर But that actually, my lord, the plot of land belonging to the respondent number nine, hmm. there is a PW road just in front of that. Very good. On one side of that PW road, there is the temple, which my learned friend is representing. In front of that, my that short uh, cut out that meets the main road. Hmm. That is also the PW road. Hmm. Now, my lord, the, my client carries on the business of construction of road. For that, my lord, he dumps. That stone chips, mm. materials, and all that in his in his property. Yes, yes, in his property, my lord. I have annexed the documents also. Mm. I have filed an opposition to that effort. That we have gone through. Mm. Now, my lord, my learned friend is saying that this is a public interest well, litigation. With, with we have the, objections to that, my lord. Well, it that, is not a public interest well, litigation. I am not, not on that point. Whether he is the owner Because of because in thing. public interest the litigation, my lord, the they are saying that. they have no personal interest in this matter actually they want my lord to use that part of the road which belongs to pwd and he is blocking the same cause it is the... a pwd road my lord i have to go out my lord that is the only ingress and egress to my property suppose you are a road contractor hmm? obviously you have to store raw material 
नाही लग इन माय इन माय प्लॉट इट वोंट हॅपन जनरली जनरली इट वोंट हॅपन म्हणून मी अनलेस यू हॅव एकर्स अँड एकर्स ऑफ लँड यू स्टोर आय मीन ब्लू मेटल जेली स्टोन्स इन वन प्लेस ब्रिक्स इन वन प्लेस सँड इन वन प्लेस युअर तार ड्रम्स इन वन प्लेस generally it is dumped in the road no 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 not that my lord but may i may i kindly pass it over my lord i have sent for my brief my lord kindly pass it over don't sit down okay pass over then kali make it not today my lord not today means it will go to july no 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 my lord kindly <laughs> kindly pass it over my lord ah uh, your brief has come or my lord picks up at 2 pm okay no 2 pm is a different list We have, whether he is the owner of the plot of land i am not on that well, we can't see he has filed a opposition along with a plan yes. that is there annexure b page 12 yes yes my lord so he has said what what is the extent of his property hmm? and is affidavit in the opposition ha ha amra opposition diye chit but we have filed our opposition we have served hmm. the copy also copy sir hmm Now, my lord, the land. There, there is a small uh, lordship. If your lordship kindly sees the plan, lordship will find out there is a small pathway yes. just in front of my plot, which connects the main PWD road. Mm. But that plot belongs to the PWD. Mm. So, my lord, But I. Where is this temple? That that plot that oh, that, that pathway. Tara Mayor Mandir. Yes. Ah. But they have their uh, entry and exit in front uh, in front of the PWD road. But here also they want they the pilgrims to go this way but they the pilgrims also cannot go this way to the ganges because my plot is there which i have purchased legally so they according to you they want to go through your property that can't be done yes you can you should not block this pathway no no we are not blocking everybody is going my lord that pathway where the temple is northern boundary you see the sketch yes ma'am uh, temples this this small pathway mm. leading to the pwd road yes is in the northern side of the mandir yes that you should not block yes we are not blocking my lord everybody is having access to that but you can't go through his property i'm yes. not going to his property my lord what is his problem he is blocking that pathway i just now you will observe how can i ask you no, no. to get into the duck we will examine <laughs> civil court uh, what is and my lord civil uh, suit is also pending my lord pending is yes. it no no we are very yes. spending that is enough we will dismiss your report sir civil is spending my lord that pathway should not be blocked i am not you can't decide that it's a civil matter so whether that is why my lord i started saying that this is not a public interest ah, litigation where is the suit why my lord they suit? have suit number in in the you show from your affidavit my lord in in the petition my lord they have annexed one document if your lordship kindly comes to there my lord kindly comes to Page seventeen. They want to go through your land. But that was that is not permissible. We have my gate, my own plot of land. I have given the porcha also, the record of rights. But that is not permissible, my lord. No. Where have you said that suit is pending? My lord, uh, no, kindly no, comes to pending. kindly comes to annex your P three of the petition, of the writ petition. Writ petition. Yes. Page number. Page seventeen. Seventeen. Yes. Sir. Where is the reference of the civil suit? Madam, may I may I just? We can make an observation. I will not go to their pathway. Madam, can we make? We can make an observation that none should obstruct the PWD pathway. My lord, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm only on that. All. I'm only on that. And in respect of the allegation in the writ petition, appears to be that you want to go through his property. No, but that is not. That is not possible. Madam, we observe that. By this that is not in, by, by this writ petition, styled as a public interest writ petition, uh, public interest litigation, the petitioner alleges certain issues against the ninth respondent, and primarily that the ninth respondent is blocking a public pathway leading to the PWD road. The ninth respondent has filed an affidavit in opposition, questioning the very maintainability of the writ petition. contending that there is no public interest involved and it's a private interest litigation and the attempt of the writ petitioner and uh, uh, who 
claim writ petitioners who claim to be in control of a temple slash mandir is to pass through the ninth respondent's property. In this regard, a sketch prepared by a surveyor has been shown, has been filed along with the affidavit in opposition, which shows that there is an arrow pathway on the northern side of the temple, which connects the PWD row. Uh, if according to the writ petitioners, there is a pathway as alleged by them, come on, such a dispute cannot be adjudicated in a writ petition that too styled as a public interest litigation. Therefore, we cannot grant the relief sought for in the writ petition. And all that we can observe is that neither the writ petitioner nor any other person nor the third respondent but she can, can but this is the plaint of the civil suit well. can block a public pathway yeah, we'll on a PWD row. This is Bhattacharya, my kindly. It is annexed, not annexed, well, but subsequently I got it. Mm -hmm. DT has filed the suit. Who's the plaintiff? DT has the filed the suit. There are, sir. Well, a civil suit is pending, well, that is. Shri Mondo. Banoshri Mandal is the sixth rate petitioner. Huh? Yes. Banoshri Mandal, wife of Gauri Shakra Mandal. Battle. And yes. roll. Further, it is pointed out by the learned advocate for the ninth respondent that one of the writ petitioners, Banoshri Mandal, namely the sixth writ petitioner, Banoshri Mandal, wife of Gauri Shankar Mandal, has filed a civil suit. Mr. Mitra, this is for uh, partition. Yes, my lord. So how that is relevant in this? <laughs> this is not so concerning this. The co -sharers. Yes. You are not a party there. No, I am I'm, I'm not a party. Uh, it's filed a civil suit. Uh, in what is the number, sir? In so and so number on the file of number 112. 112 of, of 2020. 2020. 2020. Ending before the Lanet civil judge, senior division, Diamond Arbor. Diamond Arbor. However, on going through the plane, this is the plane, sir. Going through the plane, uh, we find that the suit is one for partition and does not concern the present dispute. Be that as it may, come on. Uh, except for the observations made above by us to the effect that none can in uh, and none can obstruct or encroach a public pathway or a pwd road huh? no other direction can be given in the only way. one thing my lord i have my ingress and egress through that is the only way no, my... no. that is well, how can i go out but well, that is it well, <laughs> whether he has got the... it is a public pathway means you cannot obstruct but yes. he is using that power yes i have to power use power it power because power i have my property power. sad well lord, heavy no. heavy try this poster. Next. Right. I don't know. 28. Yes. Now for the Union of India. This one and number one. This is to provide some subsidy to BD workers, financial assistance. Yes, my lord. Both center and my lord state, my lord, have been my lord arrayed. My lord, the scheme which has been referred to in prayer is a central scheme, my lord, which is at page 130. Who will appear on behalf of the petitioner? My lord, nobody no one's appearing, my lord. That's last two, lord. three days. Your lord, your lordship will the find my lord. Last it appeared 7th February. 2023. None, none, none appears for the petitioner. We find from the order sheet that even on 9-11-2022, none was none appeared for the petitioner, as well as on 7th February 2023. Uh, 
Thus, uh, the petitioner appears to be not interested in pursuing the matter. In any event, the, this being a public interest rate petition, we take on record the uh, materials placed by the respondents, official respondents, as regards the schemes which they have evolved for rehabilitation of the BD workers. With the above observation, it puts Lord, in fact, one of the acts relied upon, my Lord, has been repealed. Because, my Lord, that my Lord, Mr. Avas Yojana, this has been covered. Next. I don't know, 29. None appears for the petitioner. And this has been the same position when the matter was listed on 9-11-2022 and 7-2-2023. Lord, I was appearing for the Pollution Control Board. What happened to your solid and waste management? Lord, I find from the, I was searching the last orders, Lord, I found that an order in, in 2021 by this honorable bench Lord, directing the state government, Lord, the allegation was possibly the violation of solid waste management rules 2016. Lord, the state government was to take instruction. I found from the last order. Thereafter, Lord, no concrete Lord, hearing has taken place. It was possibly returnable on the 21st of December or so. And has he given any representation? Lord, I, Lord, Lord, today I am a little handicapped because of the lack of the brief. Lord, I have not been able to trace it out. Um, none appears. We could have, uh, uh, however, taking note of the fact that this is a public interest lit petition where the petitioner seeks for appropriate direction for establishment of a solid liquid waste management unit at Kalamjot under Matigara, Roman 1, Gram Panchayat, Darjeeling district, under a mission, Mission Nirmala Bangla. We would direct the representation given by the red petitioner, by the local villagers to the district magistrate, Darjeeling, to be considered. Such a representation has been given on 3rd August 2021, and there have been subsequent representations also. The The Gram Panchayat has also um, met and discussed the issue in a meeting which was convened on 31st of July 2020. However, it appears that till date, nothing has happened. That nothing concrete has happened except for a project report being submitted for the Matigarag Roman 1 Gram Panchayat by the Pradhan of the said Panchayat. Therefore, we would direct the appropriate respondent to take for the forward the proposal in the said project and ensure that the solid waste management project is implemented considering the Welfare of the local public. Lord. The above direction shall be considered, uh, shall be uh, uh, complied with within a period of six months from the date of receipt of the server copy. Lord. In fact, I saw statistics in the newspaper. Lord. Lordship. West Bengal is the only state where only 9% of the solid waste generated in the state is being processed. One, only state with a single digit. Northeastern states are also a huge region.
through the river export to tell him this I this observation from the I will immediately I'm deeply obliged I don't know what 30 Hi Lord, I am for the petitioner. Item number 30. Yes, my Lord, I am for the petitioner. On the last occasions, the then Chief Justice, Honorable Chief Justice and Honorable Justice I.S.C. Bhattacharya has given me a uh, direction to sub the copy to the private respondent number 16, 17 and 18. Hmm. So I have served the copy. That is the affidavit of anybody is appearing for them. Sixteen as all of eighty private parties. I bet this one is sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Group D selection. Yes, Group D. What is the uh, allegation? My Lord, what happened? The petitioner gave the interview hmm. on the fake notice. And even that, he got the chance without giving any appointment letter on the website. He got the appointment in the forest department, which was just Halbony. Thereafter, after three months, he draw the money, that is salary. After three months, he left from the service. Thereafter, he filed the FIR in different police station in Pashtun Mindapur. And the FIR has been lost by the police station, different police, I am saying. And thereafter, no investigation has been done. The I have made a party to the cyber crime in Salt Lake. Mm -hmm. They have investigated, they have given the reply. I give the oppositions in reply so that. The matter is still pending, and the AG is appearing on behalf of the state regarding the actual investigations. The fake that is the private respondents took seven lakhs of each and every petitioner. So fake appointment orders are issued. Fake appointment, and as a result, he was allowed to join duty, and thereafter, no. <laughs> My lord, he thought he had joined. My lord, the records don't show, my lord, that he has joined at all. My lord, for it. If suppose somebody is generating a fake appointment order. No, no, we've taken steps, my lord. There's, my lord, there's been a cyber crime here. My lord, charge sheet has been filed, my lord, in one of the matters where, my lord, the cyber crime unit was involved, which is, my lord, Bidhan Nagar police station. My lord, the affidavit, my lord, has been filed, my lord, by different police stations here. The lordships will take, my lord. But what happened to the... These, uh, my lord, they were arrested. My lord, they were arrested. Thereafter, they've got themselves enlarged on bail. Then why don't you file a petition to assist the prosecution in that matter? My lord, I'd be grateful, my lord. Uh, you've got all material. We will give you. Where is the uh, court? Where? What is the my lord, the my lord, in my lord, one of the my lord matters, which is the cyber crime issue, my lord, that your lordships will find, my lord, affidavit of response number 12. My lord, Bidhan Nagar, my lord. One second. Yes, affidavit in opposition of response number 12. Yes. No, this is a serious issue, sir. Yes, of course. Because charge sheet has been filed, that is why they are not appearing. You assist the prosecution in that case? Yes. My lord, the four accused there, my lord, are not these accused. My lord, I have, my lord, they are, my lord, I have given, my lord, I have the names, my lord, Suprajit. Then include these fellows also if they are accused. If, if my lord, the, my lord, no, my lord, against them, my lord, there are other investigations going on, my lord, in three other police stations where, my lord, the complaints were filed. And that investigation is not, not over, is it? Then you complete that investigation. Very well, my lord, your lordship. Now, how much time you would require for that? My Lord, I, my Lord, this, these affidavits, my Lord, were filed sometime right, back. Now, now you file a, a present status. Report. Very well, my Lord. This is, my Lord, about, my Lord, more than a year old, my Lord, when I filed. So, All right. uh, the so public interest petition has been filed, bringing to light 
fake appointment orders being issued for group d posts group in d the post. forest department the private respondents have been served and affidavit of service has been filed but none appears for the private respondent the affidavits filed by the official respondents were about a year back in which in one of the cases a charge sheet has been laid in cs number 107 of 2021 dated 29th august 2021 in respect of the other firs which have been lodged before the other police stations as on the said date investigation was not complete the petitioner prays for the investigation to be transferred to a central agency the appropriate respondents official respondents are directed to file a, a concise report setting out as to the stage of the investigation and as to whether the investigation has been completed and whether charge sheet has been laid in the various firs which are registered at the instance of the requisition list the matter in the monthly list of may 2020 and it is may may next i don't know 31 Will I beg to appeal for the railway authority? Yes. But in this matter, Milo, the uh, affidavits had already been exchanged. Very good. But lordship, it did not form part of my lord's record. So, Milo, it uh, but it forms part of our record, Milo. So, Milo, uh, it needs to be just reaffirmed once again by the railway department. Mm. And Milo, they had actually made allegations in the petition, Milo, that the duty hours of the railway employees have been increased from eight hours to twelve hours. and we have said that was during the pandemic time and it has been discontinued just in order to meet that particular because so many people were not coming and they were infected what by what is the relief they want you know they are wanting that it should be reduced to 12 uh, from 12 hours to 8 hours and it has already been done that forms a part of our affidavit but it is not forming part of my lord's record uh, my humble submission is that my lord uh, what uh, uh, my the uh, learned uh, deputy solicitor general yes 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 he is what his submission uh, his submission is dsg you call him dsg yes. learned ds learned dsc yeah. but he is submitting that that is a far from the real scenario the first thing is that the 12 hours duty please see uh, in the main petition my lord page number 30 my lord as per instruction okay. drm sir 12 hours rooster will be started for all group c and d this is a whatsapp message only mm. there is no proper order passed by eastern railway and that is not the process to change a roster the unified sm cadets they are the oh, uh, whose case are you uh, can you see uh, i am the petitioner too uh, my, my you, you are a rail petitioner you are appearing in person yes i am appearing in person you are not a railway employee no no uh, then then the railway employee is working for 12 hours 6 hours yes the main issue is that the uh, violation of passenger safety that is the main issue because because of overwork they will be tired yes yes my lord because there some some in uh, various cabins uh, my lord the signaling operation operators they work 24 hours continuous duty sorry 12 hours continuous duty that inflicts upon the passenger safety because once if something happened no uh, what uh, your solicitor says is that was during covid time we did it yes now we have rolled back back to 8 hours So that that was back at, on three six twenty twenty one, as my affidavit goes. But unfortunately, my lord, it does not form part of my. Doesn't matter. We can take your copy. And the but present date, my lord, I can I can show that the same thing is continuing, and somewhere it is continuing for twenty four hours. I have the document. Why? Because of uh, vacancy visa. Maybe I don't know the exactly uh, what, what is what, what is. What we can do is see. This is all policy decision, etc. Yes. Uh, in software industry mm -hmm. uh, how many hours they work they mostly uh, what about i know that is for 20 to 12 to 14 hours 14 hours but but my lord that is the they are sitting 14 the hours box. we make you sit in front of the system you can't withstand for two days that's the main thing but that th and these children who start off like who complete the graduation <laughs> they get recruited yes as a yes yes very sir. difficult i have my personal experience so therefore what they say is our policy is like that 
<coughs> we give them two days off after four, three, four days of continuous 14 hour shift. And my employees have accepted my terms and conditions. That's a competitive world, it's a private employment. It's a public employment. And it is for them to take a policy decision. And we will ask them to address the concern of your souls. That much we can do. Please hand over that affidavits. Millard, it will give me a day's time, Millard, because it is not in proper form, Millard. It, 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 is, Millard we have, it has not even been stitched, Millard. I am feeling very sorry to no, hand it over to my lord, and that was the one. For in this case, my lord, uh, the uh, affidavit in reply is ready in my hand. My lord, reply, because <laughs> affidavit is also there. I, we just wanted to get it formally affirmed, Millard. It won't be urgent. DSC, it won't be urgent today. Millard, I am not wanting any <laughs> By this public just, Millard, Because this is not the... Uh, the report Petition, a writ petitioner appearing in person flags an issue with regard to the working hours of the railway employees. More particularly, the railway employees who are engaged in the monitoring of the running of trains. Yes, actually, they are belong to unified station master cater. The grievance of the petitioner is that. That uh, the uh, such ra railway employees are made to work, made to work for more than two, for more than eight hours, and in certain cases twelve hours, and there have been instances where a railway employee is made to work for twenty four hours continuously. This, according to the petitioner, would impinge upon the safety of the traveling public. Therefore, he has come forward with this petition. The learned deputy solicitor general on written instructions would submit that during the COVID pandemic, on account of shortage of staff, the staff, the employee, the railway employees were requested, they were required to work for 12 hours. And such arrangement is no longer in vogue and has been revised. And as of now, the working hours is only eight hours. The petitioner, by way of reply, would submit that it is not uh, the case uh, always. And there are several um, <clears throat> instances by which the duty hours are informed to the concerned railway employee by WhatsApp messages. <clears throat> so far as the conditions of service are concerned, it is for the employer to de to design and formulate and formulate such conditions. All that we can observe is that a, an employee should not be compelled to work more than the specified hours, as if done so, it will affect his productivity. And in, in cases of railway employees, the uh, uh, railway employees, if on account of fatigue. They are unable to properly monitor the movement and operation of trains. It will jeopardize the public interest. Therefore, we we would uh, make an observation to the to be noted by the senior officials of the railways railway administration to ensure that the safety and security of the traveling public is in no manner compromised, and <coughs> the working hours of the railway employees be suitably regulated. With the above observation, red petitions and I'm great. Great. we'll stop with this. Second half will be original. Appellate said today. We'll continue. Probably we'll come back at 2.15. We'll reassemble at 2.15.
Yes. Please call. I don't know, 32. Miller, this is my application. I beg to appear on behalf of the state. Miller, here, the petitioner before your lordship, Miller, is a teacher, and he wants to implementation of the government's order. There is no challenge thrown to them. Miller, here, Miller, the JFMC is a committee, Miller, mm -hmm. constituted for the uh, for allotment of the uh, workers, more, more particularly, Miller, the forest dwellers, in a way, Miller, mm -hmm. so that they can get the jobs, Miller, mm -hmm. assigned to them. So by this way, Miller, the government has Miller prevented the suppliers and contractors mm. to get the job, Miller, so far as this kind of development work is concerned. And the JFMC, it is, it is a committee. Mm. I take my Lord's kind attention to page 15, an extra P1 of the repetition. 15. <clears throat> this particular page, Miller, may I read for my Lord's? What is JFMC? JFMC, that is Millard, this uh, uh, Joint, Forest. Joint Forest Management Committee. Committee. Okay. The supplement Sub the Millard. The governor is now, pleased to allow the Directorate of Forest to implement the The governor is here, yes, Millard. Directly by them. Yes. By engaging local JFMC members instead of engaging contractors. Yes. Now, Millard, uh, this, this particular, the, now, Millard, what happened? Hmm. The uh, Thereafter, Millard, in the year 2015, Millard, the government, the department had been brought under the ambit of integrated financial system, management system introduced by the government of West Bengal, and which is commonly known as IFMS. Hmm. And all workers, Millard, at as per Millard, the financial management system, all workers are required to be implemented as per West Bengal financial rules and treasury rules. Now, my contention before your lordships uh, are that first of all, that these work should be assigned to the people, Millard, who are meant for this job, number hmm. one. The prevention of the suppliers and contractors is expressly prohibited. The government wants to implement its own policy. Now, by reason of engaging the government in the meantime, by violating its own circular millard, has invited tender millard, which is a subject matter of challenge in this private, public interest litigation, according to our humble understanding of the situation. Now, 2019, the government took a decision. 11th May 2019, millard is the first. 11th, 11th uh... May 2019. 11th December. December page, 20, yes. Page page 15. Page 15. 11th December. Then there, has there been any review? Now, Millard, thereafter, Millard, the order of implementation is the next page, 20th. 18. Hmm? Page 6. Right, yes. hmm, very good. Then, then Millard, kindly comes to Millard. Um, I, I tender my apology, Millard. This is uh, the 18, Millard. Uh, this particular page 17 is not legible, Miller. That is why. Kindly take Spain Miller to turn page 18. E tender notice number such and such. I, no, sorry, traditionally Kongshabuti South Division is one of the pioneer divisions in raising SAL and QGS qualification in South Bengal. With the introduction of new financial management system, it has become mandatory to carry out the minority, majority of development works either through tender or through quotation. Thus, in pursuance to the geo number. 25-6-2012 and its subsequent amendment 24-4-14, the Divisional Forest Officer Kongshapati South Division Raghupur Purulia on behalf of the Governor of West Bengal invites cluster-wise state gender form bona fide resourceful supplier constructor for carrying out the following works at various ranges of Kongshapati South Division as per the following location, suppliers, contractors, and location details estimate. Location details, Miller, this has been made and remarks. Now, government in support of its actions, Millard, has filed the affidavit. And all your representations, they did not consider. No, now, Millard, 11-5-2022, Millard, thereafter, Millard, the government, Page 11, number? Millard, coming, Millard. Before that, Millard, I take 11 May 2022. Yes. Now, Millard, I, I take Millard's kind attention to adjust a minute. Millard, that the, the report, the filed by the Millard state. Where, where is the report? Uh, that report, Millard. This report, Millard. Detailed is, report. The detailed report, Millard, in the case of WPA. Uh, paragraph number six, Millard. Has your Lordship got it? Have your Lordship got it? Yes. The report, Millard, I take my Lord's kind attention to paragraph six, Millard. Hmm. The government has justified his action, Millard. 
though it was thought that this particular geo of forest department in question would help a lot in implementing the plantation work, it became difficult in reality due to the following reasons. The reasons that have been assigned by the governments are one, earlier while following geo number 256-2012 and its subsequent amendment 24-414 had been followed, division office was required to make only bills in favor of contractors either in tier number 26 and in tier number 27 as the case may be. But now the division office are required to create a series of wage bills time to time. Further, as the details of plantation laborers such as name, mobile number, bank account number, IFC, etc., which are mandatory for preparation of the bills are not known and varies continuously until and until this data are collected from the field in a proper manner by the field staffs, divisional forest officer would not be in a position to enter this mandatory preliminary data in IFMS for preparation of the bill and it becomes time consuming and cumbersome. If any mistake take place in entering the aforesaid basic data, the payment of those particular plantation leverages move to fail transaction. This situation is extremely difficult to tackle with. From the system, it cannot be ascertained properly that who the sufferers are Naturally, these have to be clarified from file by updating the passbooks of the concerned persons. This process creates further delay in making payment to another 15 to 20 days more. The DFO perform, that means Miller District Forest Officer, performs the plantation activities departmentally when the tender process are failed completely. It is not that they have completely ignored the latest geo such and such for Department of Forest, file number such and such for the department. Now, Miller, the supplementary affidavit in response to such averment, Millard, seeking justification, Millard, paragraph 7 of my affidavit, that is the exception to the report, I should say, Millard, uh, filed by the respondents. That is, Millard, they filed this. I am sorry. We got it. Millard, yes. Millard, I take my Lord's uh, no, kind attention to paragraph 7 of my uh, report. You come back to the report. Re report. Uh, in uh, paragraph 6, which you just read, yes, they have pointed out six difficulties. Six difficulties. Now, Miller, the you one. please come to the internal page 4 of the report. After they have listed out the difficulties, what they say? Yes. The para, simultaneously, majority of the JFMCs where the plantation works were supposed to be implemented was consulted. While JFMCs have explained the problem, Appropriate authority has also made provision of funds for floating tenders. So, essentially what they say is, these people don't have bank accounts or that's the IFMS is the present uh, system, the management of, system. management system of payment. Of course, it requires some software to be implemented, training to be affirmed. That's for the forest department to do. But uh, is there any other way which these... Millard, uh, that is why, Millard, the difficulties, Millard, as Millard portrayed by the government, Millard, to counter to Millard this, Millard, I, Millard, in my affidavit, mm. I, Millard, annex, Millard, uh, exception in my exception, mm. if your lordship kindly takes pain to turn page 44, uh, 44 onwards, uh, uh, um, this is Millard, this, this Millard, Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Development Guarantee Act project, Millard, in this project, 100 days work, your lordship knows, Millard, which is prevalent in all over the country, Millard, in terms of the Act 2005. Yes. Millard, the, the, the laborers, Millard, they have been paid by the government in a proper system and all debtors, Millard, are in the system. So the reasons are nebulous and, Millard, this cannot be countenanced. For the simple reason, Millard, the government was of a clear vision that in order to, Millard, become a welfare state, these are the policies because... Rehabilitate them. To rehabilitate them. To rehabilitate them and financially give them secure. financial security. Financial security. Now this has to reach the and who appears for the forest department? Forest department. Yeah. Or who has filed this report? Malada. On behalf of the state, the chief conservator of forest, Malada, I filed the report. All right. Now you have set out certain difficulties. My lord. See, these difficulties are all easily, it can be solved. The first Malad, difficulty you say. Particularly, these were done accountant. during the Malad COVID situation, the for the period of 21-22. Now, Malad, JFC Malad, Malad can be implemented. Pardon? Malad. Now it can be implemented. Now it can be implemented. Oh, Milad, uh, sorry, I, I possibly misunderstood the minds of the state. Milad, if I take Malad again, 
to page 7 of the exception to the report, mm. 11422. Miller, the government has placed its anxiety in this language, whereas it has been observed with great concern that the annual general meeting and the reconstitution of JFM committee are not being held regularly. Whereas it has been noticed that many of the JFM committees have been continued without proper elective representatives. And whereas it was instructed VDA such and such to such and such to complete the process of, oh, sorry, Millard, page seven of the exception, exception, exception of the report, exception to the report filed by the, page seven. Yes. Now, Millard, page seven, Millard says, this is a memo dated Millard 11 4 mm. May I read for my lords? Yes. Whereas it has been observed with great concern that the annual general meeting and reconstitution of JM committee are not being held regularly. And whereas it has been noticed that many of the JFM committees have been continuing without proper elected representatives. And whereas it was instructed VDA this office memo number such and such dated 21 12 21 to complete the process of reconstitution of JFMs within 18 2 2022. Now, therefore, it is ordered that all the DFOs should take proper initiative to complete annual general meeting and election of the executive committee within 15 May 2022 positively and report compliance. It is further ordered that no distribution of JFM's share should be undertaken till the process of the AGM and election of the office bearers are completed for the purpose of the election procedure to be followed for constitution of the executive committee dated such and such should be added to. So the notice at page 18 of the read petition inviting suppliers Millard and the submission which he has oh, made. This was on 11 4 2022. One year has passed by. Yes. Now whether the elections have been conducted. That is for the state to say Millard because still we are deprived of. That is for the state. You know, you are not. No, part I, of the I, am, I am not representing the laborers. I am espousing the cause of this. Millard. So this therefore, the, the benefit should reach the correct person. Correct person. The, that is very, very important. Very because important. This is all cartel. It's a clear cartel because these tribal people, the forest dwellers, Malo. they don't know their rights. They are being exploited. I say so from uh, with utmost responsibility. Millard, they are know. not being given any of the benefits. They are completely kept in the dark. Uh, community certificates are not issued, etc. There are a lot of issues. We have done two legal, uh, legal services camp in Purulia and as well as in near Maitonda. So that's the position. So first, they should implement this office order, my Lord. complete the elections, and then switch, no, my Lord, over, after, my Lord, and then switch over to the original. Switch over but, to but, the new but circular. But question is, Milad, the state must report to this honorable court as to whether, Millard, because the state has taken a different stand, Millard, in its report. You it could says, have done some exercise. No, Millard, I, 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 Why can't you do? You are a public interest because litigant. Millard, because you Millard, are supposed to do the research. Millard, uh, this, yes. order, this order, office order was passed one this, year back. Yes, but, but you the report. You an additional affidavit Millard, saying that that's not being Millard, complete. The report, Millard, we, in this exception, Millard, I clearly stated. Millard, no, no, your exception is different, sir. Along with your exception, you have filed this office order. So it's the endeavor of the writ petitioner to assist the court. Huh? To say that it's easy for if we don't know whether uh, the he is he you say he is not part of any of the JFMC. No, I am not. I am a teacher, Millard. I am espousing the cause, Millard. So therefore, I have uh, we will issue a direction that if this office order has not been implemented, my Lord. it should be implemented within the next six months, my Lord. And they should abide by the. Uh, order at page number 2019 will be my followed. And below the 18, page 18, which justifies below the or the government orders 14 and below 9, below that should be set aside. They're inviting no, supplies. That, that, see, that will mold the relief. The order which you just now read to us. Page 1718, below of the read petition. Page 15 is the below the basis of my read petition. Page 15. So the, what they will do is. They will complete the elections, the DFOs, and they will thereafter abide by. Thereafter, my lord, uh, 15 will be, my lord, implemented. implemented. The... So you, we will give you three months' time to complete the elections, my lord. If it has not been done till now, my, lord, my instruction, my junior says, my lord, that possibly, but I cannot say with certainty that the elections have been completed in almost many years. If that is so, uh, then if the JF, JFMCs have been duly reconstituted with a validly elected body, my they Lord. will implement the government order dated 11th December. My Lord. We give you another two months time to separate all the JFMCs. My Lord. Revert back to 11th December. 
by way of this public interest and Mr. Miller kindly ask them Miller so far as this between this period 11 5 19 to Miller 2022 Miller the huge fund Miller uh, well, well allotted that, by that, that you want you ask for CBA info <laughs> everything register affair transfer investigation by way of this public interest repetition a teacher hailing from head heat teacher Mr. Ambuj Tiwari hailing from Purulia district seeks to protect the rights of the forest dwellers who have organized themselves into what is called JFMC. Joint Forest Management Committee. Uh, who have organized themselves into a, a body called Joint Forest Management Committee within bracket JFMC. The case of the uh, writ petitioner rests upon a order issued by the government of West Bengal dated 11th December 2019. For better appreciation, the same is quoted here under page number 15, annexure P to this repetition. Quote the entire things. I'll put a flag, pink flag, green flag. As could be seen from the above order, a direction has been issued pursuant to the orders of the orders of His Excellency, the Governor of West Bengal. To allow the Directorate of Forests to implement the plantation workers directly by them, by engaging local JFMCs, plantation works, not workers, engaging local JFMCs, MC members, instead of engaging contractors. Further, it was ordered that the material should be procured after observing necessary tender slash quotation procedure. And the labor payments should be made as per the rate notified by the labor department time to time by making direct credit to the respective bank account of the laborers by ECS. The said order has been issued with the concurrence of the finance department. It is submitted by the learned advocate appearing for the petitioner that pursuant to the office or of, uh, pursuant to the government order dated 11th December 2019. Another order was passed on 5th May 2021 by the Chief Conservator of Forests, comma Southwest Circle, comma West Bengal, addressed to the Divisional Forest Officer Purulia, stating that, no, uh, enclosing the government order dated 11th December 2019 with a direction that the procedure stated therein should invariably be followed in all the all other wages slash labor payments by ECS only. It is a submission made on behalf of the petitioner that though such was the government order, the Directorate of Forest in utter derogation to the said order has invited e-tenders for allotting the works to contractors. According to the petitioner, such procedure adopted by the Directorate of Forests is contrary to the government order and is illegal. In this regard, several representations were made by the petitioner, but none of them had evoked any response, which necessitated the petitioner to approach this court by way of a public interest litigation. Para. Pursuant to the directions issued by the court, a report has been filed by the Principal Chief Conservator of Forests. And in paragraph 6 of the report, certain difficulties have been expressed by the, not Principal Chief, Chief Conservator of Forests, hmm? by the uh, Chief Conservator of Forests. And the difficulties which have been expressed are set out here under. This is 
pink flag the paragraph 6 internal page 2 it will go till page 3 2 no not up to do this hmm? i'm excuse <clears throat> The writ petitioner has filed a supplementary affidavit and also an exception to the report filed by the Chief Conservator of Forest. In the exception to the report, office order dated 11th April 2022 has been annexed, which is to the following effect. Exception, page 7, annexure, P1. Quote the entire officer. In terms of the above office order, direction has been issued by the principal chief conservator of forests to all his officers and field formations with a direction that the JFMCs have to be reconstituted after completion of, uh, after conducting elections. And the, and the district forest officers <coughs> were directed to take proper initiative to complete annual general meeting and election of executive committee within May 2020, within 15th May 2020, positively and report compliance. There was an embargo placed in the said order stating that no distribution of JFMS share should be undertaken till the process of annual general meeting and election of office bearers are complete. It's been almost a year since the office order was dated 11-4-2022 has been passed. By now, the annual general meetings and the election of the executive committee should have been completed as per the directive issued where the time limit was fixed as 15th May 2022. As could be seen from the office order dated, no sorry, government order dated 11th December 2019, comma, there was a specific direction to engage to, so, sorry, specific direction issued allowing the Directorate of Forests to implement the plantation works directly by them by engaging local JFMCs. This government order having not been rescinded or superseded is bound to be followed by the Directorate of Forests. In the preceding paragraphs, paragraph, we have extracted the difficulties which were pointed out by the principal chief Conservator of Forests, no, sorry, Chief Conservator of Forests. On perusal of those, the difficulties within inverted comma, we find that most of them are procedural in nature. The object behind the government order permitting the Directorate of Forest to, to implement the plantation works directly by the JFMCs is with a view to rehabilitate those persons who, but for such schemes, would be would not have any source of employment. Therefore, the difficulties which have been pointed out, such as um, the mobile numbers, bank accounts, IFSC details, etc., for the purpose of preparation of bills, has to be sorted out by the forest department. And that cannot stand in the way of implementing a welfare scheme to rehabilitate the members of the JFMCs. Therefore, uh, sorry, in any event, the principal chief conservator of forest has issued a directive on 11th April 2022, which should have been implemented by now. And if the same had been implemented, we see no impediment or roadblocks for the forest department to scrupulously implement the government order 
dated 11th December 2019. In the light of the above, the following direction would meet the ends of justice. There will be a direction to the concerned officials of the forest directorate of forests to uh, ensure that the, the annual general meeting and the election of executive committee of all the JFMCs have been completed. And if not completed in a few JFMCs, the same should be completed uh, within uh, one month from the date of or receipt. Two, of, months. two months from the date of receipt of the survey copy of this order. Uh, if the uh, if the annual general meeting and elections had already been completed in uh, in certain JFMCs or, or or in all JFMCs, then the directorate of forests shall revert back and uh, revert back to the, not revert back shall uh, imp implement the government order dated 11th December 2019, whereby the uh, whereby uh, His Excellency the Governor of uh, West Bengal was pleased to allow the Directorate of Forests to implement the plantation works directly by them by engaging local JFMCs, JFMC members instead of engaging contractors. The difficulties or roadblocks which has been pointed out in the report filed by the Chief Con Conservator of Forests shall be uh, resolved by taking necessary assistance from the uh, IT wing of the Forest Department or the IT wing of the uh, um, Government of West Bengal. And such issues should not be cited as a reason for not implementing the government order dated 11th Only December 2019. But at page 46 to 44 to 46, I have shown that Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme, the government has sort of made the payment to the level. It's slightly different. Mahatma Gandhi scheme will be implemented in the plains also. Yes, also. Huh? But wait, wait, wait. Yes. There are people, uh, we will have some dwelling unit, etc. Mostly the scheme is implemented. Beneficiaries will be the Pradhan's uh, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, mother-in-law. <laughs> so you don't compare with that that is uh, your uh, this IFMC we are have, we have also facing difficulty in SLSA to implement it, no computers etc forest department they will do it with the above I mean, uh, direction and observation deeply obliged, repetition. Deeply obliged my lord. Yes, this stands disposed of thank you, next I don't know what 33 yes I'm praying for not today. So no, it will be today only. It can't be not today. Carry on, carry on. This is not some constitutional validity where you require your senior. What is the mandamus investigation upon the livestock cattle market? Yes, your lordship. What is the problem? My lord, the problem was smuggling. My, my lord, it's very simple. My lord, uh, the Case was made out on the basis, my lord, that a cattle market is being run without permission. Yes, my lord, it should not be. My lord, should not be, my lord. But if there is a permission, my lord. That's my lord. The affidavit. No, no, learned advocate general has filed status report in the form of yes. a disclosure scheme that livestock and they were to file... is so and so, so and so for a long time sale purchase done following agriculture produce market regulation act report all the names of persons license seeks time to examine the report. What happened? How, how long have you been examining the report? This was passed in 13 December 2022. Where is Mr. Sharaf? Uh, Jarkhand. Uh, he's on legs in uh, socket bench. About 14th March 2023. That's only 14th March. Yeah. Hmm. If there's a violation, you come. The, uh, this red petition, styled as a public interest litigation, seeks for a direction upon the respondents 1 to 1 and 2 to take action upon the livestock cattle market situated at Birshipur, Howrah district, on the, uh, on the allegation that the market has been conducted without following the uh, norms prescribed. Uh, your Lordship? Uh, we have filed exception report also. Oh, norms, uh, norms 
prescribed under the Agricultural Produce Marketing yeah. Regulation Act 1972. When the matter was heard by the by the court on 13th December 2022, the status report filed by the Ad learned advocate uh, general was taken on record from which it was seen that the cattle market, the livestock market, uh, cattle market was being run by following the procedure under the Agricultural Produce Marketing Regulation Act 1972. The petitioner sought time to file exceptions and uh, time was extended on two occasions to file exceptions. Today, the learned advocate for the petitioner has filed the exceptions. From the exceptions, it is seen that the uh, petitioner seeks to point out that there is a specific prohibition under the act as well as the prevention of cruelty to animals come a regulation of livestock markets, bracket close rules 19, 2017 and the other related statutes uh, to cancel the licenses in case of violation and if, in cases of in cases where illegal cattle stock market are being operated come I rescue and recover the cattle by handing over the custody of the cattle to the any one of the organizations prescribed under the rules. It is further submitted by the petitioner that cattle wealth of the nation is in the interest of justice and animal welfare laws becoming redundant, would become redundant if the relief sought for by the petitioner is not granted. It is further stated in the said exception that livestock market may be registered as per the provisions of the Agricultural Produce Market Within Bracket Regulation Act 1972 as mentioned in the status report. But in addition to it, the market needs also to be registered under the provisions of the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals Within Bracket Regulation of Livestock Markets Within Bracket Rules 2017. According to the petitioner, the livestock market at Goruhatta, G-O-R-U-H-A-T-A, Brishipur, are run in co complete contravention of the livestock market rules 2017. All the vehicles which are brought into the market completely violate the Motor Vehicles Act, 1988, Central Motor Vehicle Rules, 1989, and transport of animal rules in 1978. Therefore, it is submitted that if the livestock market is unregistered under the 2017 rules, the same has to be shut down. Uh, the report submitted on behalf of the respondents does not indicate as to whether the livestock markets have been registered under the said rules, namely the prevention of cruelty to animals, regulation of livestock markets, bracket close rules 2017 and, <clears throat> oh no, only, uh, not and, um, 2017. That apart, the in the uh, law enforcing authorities shall, should also ensure <coughs> that the transportation of the livestock should be made in accordance with the transport of animal rules 1978 this court can take judicial notice of the fact that has been that there has been large scale allegation of <coughs> illegal uh, cattle trade or what is it exporter cattle trade outside the state and at times outside the country and uh, and prosecutions have also been launched thus the respondents 
are bound to <coughs> ensure that the markets are not only um, run in accordance with the relevant ru act and rules, but also to ensure that the animal, the cattle are well protected and while being transported, they should adhere to the provisions of the transport of animal rules 1978. In fact, under the rules, there is a the carriage correct. is specified. Correct. It has to have side padding, correct, etc. Correct. Here in a small Tata Ace truck. Then... Not only that, my lord, the way they are cramped, my lord, is my lord, that's uh... therefore we direct the res the concerned respondent to immediately cause a uh, to constitute a team of officers to inspect the markets, livestock, cattle, livestock, uh, what is it? Livestock cattle markets in question. Uh, examine as to whether they have the requisite license under the Act and the various rules. Conduct surprise checks on vehicles which are used for transportation of these of the cattle, and if any violation is found, and the mark and the market does not possess the requisite licenses, the market shall be shut down and not permitted to operate unless and until the licenses are secured. Apart from that, if the transportation of vehicle of the cattle are done in contravention of the transport of animal rules, the concerned vehicle shall be seized and the transporter and the owner of the cattle uh, shall be uh, um, prosecuted in accordance with the provisions of the said rules and other related statutes. The uh, concerned department shall scrupulously follow the above directions and the state can also extend uh, such uh, measures to other cattle, uh, livestock cattle markets in the state. This, with the above observation, read position stands disposed of. What else? Be ready. Because she and her colleague, every time Mr. Sharaf is not there, they will ask her, Jen, one year, five months, I will. Never do that. Take the opportunity. Very difficult for matters to be listed. Okay. Carefully, your lordship. Next. I don't know what 34 and 35. My lord, my application. My lord, this relates to my lord. Floods 2017, Bengal in Malda district. My lord, government sanctioned 58 crores as house building grant. Now the Pradhans prepared the lists. And the house go washed away with the water. My lord. 11 volumes, my lord, of uh, my lord, well, pleadings are complete. So, my lord, essentially, just to highlight a few things, my lord, if I may, my lord. Now, you want an investigation to be done. By, by, uh, not by. Ah. That's the difficulty, my lord. Because we've seen, my lord, in some similar cases, police is, uh, my lord, page 168. Now, let us see your petition. My lord. Thank you, Shaikh. Reply to the reply volume one. Reply, reply volume one. Gulo to the event. Are written. Reply affidavit and reply volume one. Hmm. But by now they would have destroyed all evidence. My lord, they may have, but uh, my lord, the beneficiary list we have. So there we find my lord at least they have to be investigated. Yes. Who are appearing for the beneficiaries? My lord, I beg to appear for. Respondent number 36 in my lord item number 34, which would be my lord WPAP 316. Right, you are a beneficiary. No, my lord. I am the no, my lord. I am no, my lord. I am the my lord, uh, the Shabaputi of the Panchayat Shamiti. My lord. Hmm. my lord, I have been arraigned as a party respondent. My lord. Because the funds were given to you, my lord. It is the Pradhan who prepared the list. The, Prada, the Panchayat Shamiti, as per the documents, they have annexed, my lord, at page No, 19, no, no. We will ask an independent, uh, either a CAG or some person. But CAG, the problem we find, my lord, they keep reports, nothing happens after that. My lord, on a practical level, my lord. No, once find. the report comes, you come here. My lord, what we will is... implement that report. <laughs> my lord. But uh, their, uh, their uh, investigation, they can do a forensic audit also, where the funds my lord, are gone. Perhaps, yes, my lord, I'm grateful. My lord, perhaps one of the funds, where they have gone, we can identify. We've got the beneficiary list. My lord, we've seen, my lord, same phone numbers, 50 people allotted. No, lord, if they do a sample survey, my lord, some independent agency who's not involved in any of these process. My lord. 
and that in jason c will examine question all the beneficiaries you are for the beneficiary no i am for the c h you are for the c i am for the state i am for the state state so you take up the investigation thank you lordship sir take that this matter let's not economic economic no some report needs to be there no after it sent on the basis my lord if if i may since that there is some that no the, your your allegation is the the entire uh, what do you say the list of beneficiaries is completely yes matlab same matlab pradhan family members same that the way it happens so right. therefore this will be the starting point okay. let the matter be pending okay. we give them 8 weeks time let the caj do the investigation i mean uh, examine all the beneficiaries the state will extend all support all the pradhan will uh, samiti will extend support give all the records Lord, they, one one thing my lord the pradhans my lord the tenure may get over any time so maybe 2021 so, we are 2023 you file the requisition 2020 so no, it, the money things, came in later my lord because let, let we, the, we file let, rtis and everything so that's this, why uh, please take down no? the cbi is also a party respondent my lord very good you come in later sir <laughs> my lord perhaps already your hands are full <laughs> my lord perhaps my lord if if there are my lord we file 11 volumes of replies my lord at- no no that's not required sir. That's my lord not required my lord we are not here to adjudicate this disputed questions my lord if there is some concrete material to show that uh, prime facie my lord will be able to demonstrate prime facie is made out we need a certification for that my lord so what we will take uh, lord, take may it may it be my lord's pleasure my lord to give them four weeks at least so that we can proceed my lord they can't do it my lord my lord this side of the vacation if we can my lord have subject to by my lord's kind convenience by, by way of this public interest lit petition the petitioners seek for a thorough investigation into the allocation of funds which were sanctioned by the government for rehabilitating the victims of the floods which occurred in the year 2017 uh, the pleadings are complete voluminous documents have been filed on either side to demonstrate that all is not well in the manner of disbursal of funds and the list of beneficiaries are not the true beneficiaries and persons who are not affected by the floods have been unduly benefited um with the with these facts the petitioners seek for appropriate investigation in the matter since the matter involves disbursal of funds allocated for a specific purpose and uh, to examine as to whether the allegations made by the petitioner is true and specialized agency a specialized and independent agency is required to conduct the preliminary investigation in our view the comptroller general of india namely the 42nd respondent would be the appropriate authority who will be able to conduct the preliminary inquiry slash investigation in the matter and a report can be placed before this court to enable this court to uh, init- to take up uh, to pass further orders uh, considering the materials therefore we direct the concerned uh, direct the state government and its officials to play, place the entire file before the officers of the of the complot comptroller general of india uh, kama kolkata and all other records which are lying with the various panchayats shall also be placed before the said authority and any other further information which may be required by the authority shall be uh, supplied to the uh, the office of the 42nd respondent all expenses which may be incurred for the purpose of conducting the inquiry and investigation by way of local visit of the officers of the 42nd respondent shall be borne by the state of west bengal we grant 8 weeks time from the date of receipt of the server copy of this order for the 46 seconds respondent to com- commence and complete the inquiry slash investigation and place a report before this court for consideration list the matter 
one thing about the 42nd respondent has been designated as uh, CAG one principal accountant general audit one. This is audit one. This, uh, this with the affairs of the state government. Uh, principal slash principal, principal accountant general audit one. Uh, principal accountant general audit one. The uh, the uh, the uh, the CAG slash principal accountant general audit one is also entitled to uh, um, summon the officers of the various departments of the government of West Bengal for the purpose of collecting. The next matter is matter. It will be a common order in all three. Uh, let, uh, let a copy of this order be communicated to the 42nd respondent as well as the uh, whatever the principal accountant general is on Kolkata. So we have given eight weeks time. Eight weeks. So after eight weeks means when it will come. My lord, uh, may, may it be my lord's pleasure, my lord. In some other matters, we've seen CAG taking a bit of time. My lord, may it be my lord. In, well, if, in they, a... if they want additional time, <laughs> they will let them come before. My lord, 2021, you have been carrying, no, I'm not, I'm not you have been carrying these 10 volumes. <laughs> no, my lord. No, no. And I am As... just uh, <laughs> concerned about your clerk. <laughs> How many times you would have carried that? My Lord, as down? my Lord rightly mentioned, listing a matter is so important in the earlier matter. My Lord, my Lord mentioned. So this is the difficulty, my Lord, yes. which we face. Let it, let it move. Let it no. move. My Lord, uh, list the matter on twelfth June in the daily list. Thank you. I'm grateful. Should take the problem. <laughs> I don't know, 36. All of that, All right. I appear for the some of the respondents, the National Highway Authority. This is basically about but, complaint made. That's a, I'm, but, I'm not is, taking but this is the complaint made is that I have felled trees without permission to make the no, road no, no, highways. And I have answered to it first. There was the RTI. I gave a comprehensive reply to the RTI. But RTI does not really put matters but, first. They, then the public interest litigation. Malad, one Malad, the complaint is Malad, that National Highway Authority, Malad, without obtaining Malad, the uh, permission from the Pollution Control Board, Malad, they started war. Malad, their, their ground is Malad, if Malad, the stretch, the National Highway, cross 100 kilometers, then Malad, the permission is necessary. Malad, intentionally, Malad, they break the stretch. Like Malad, and then if they say four and above five lakhs you make purchase, tender us, we call for. <laughs> So they'll make it into four purchases. So, but and one second, my lord, my lord, filling up the trees. My lord, then, my lord, the 21 read petition, 21, my lord, I filed the read petition. My lord, the already, my lord, the work already started. My lord, then tree already, my lord, the, they failed. There is some policy which says for every first is if there is a very, very big tree hmm, and uh, uh, the timber is very, it's a rare species, then replanting. Uprooting and replanting should be uh, examined and uh, done. Or there is a ratio like every one tree, five, one is to ten in my state. So it depends a lot on the trees and the width of the road and things like that. So, why, why, why this? No, but the one issue came up on this issue, this matter. Why the interpretation was I given, you plant before you. Sir, I have I tell you lots of what is happening. Kindly see, Malad. Malad, why, Malad, I file this petition. Malad, kindly see, Malad, page 35. Malad, this is the action before Malad start the work, Panagar to Palsi. Malad, Dhanwad to Panagar. Malad, kindly see their activities, Malad, page 35. Very difficult to have. Activities are that. I'll petition. Malad, Malad, kindly my are over now. My activity is over. There is no more activity. Trees have been replanted. And the West Bengal Forest Department may not is responsible for but the I them a lot. My I have sir. to give them the money. I have given them over 10 crores. They have got the money. There is evidence of that. And they replanted the trees. Now, the only question is this 100 kilometers, Supreme Court, three judge bench has spoken that we are not experts. There may be an exigency. Every time you cannot do it, a committee of experts will decide it. We are not to decide. And I have annexed that judgment in my, uh, the Chief Justice who was reading it earlier said, we better file a report in the form of an affidavit. I formed two volumes. Report in the form of an affidavit, stating all the permissions taken, when taken, money given to... Now the, the road has been constructed. Yes, it's over. Uh, Maybe a little bit here and there, but it may, may be 90% uh, is over. Vehicular traffic is moving. Four-lane highway, six-lane, six-lane highway. 
under the golden triangle that time it money came it, it, is, it is between which place and which place until panagad and palsit panagad to palsit palsit to dankuri but, but kindly see no, a very important stage in, in, in before my lord dhanbad to panagad which is the but, arterial link from south bengal to north bengal Malar, at the time of Dhanagar, Dhanbad to Pan, Panagar, Malar, I filed an application. How many trees, Malar, the plantation? Oh, Malar, Malar, they say without, Malar, there, there is no land. As such, Malar, there is no plantation. Malar, th there, Malar, the report. I, I cannot plant trees. That will be very clear. The West Bengal Forest Department, the West Bengal, the, uh, there are officers, divisional forest officers. See, the land has to be provided by the state government. They are provided. The land has to be provided by the state Quite. government. So once it is acquired compulsory requisition or uh, by negotiation, it's up to the state government to do it under the National Highway Act. Yes. A special officer will be appointed, etc. So once they uh, uh, conduct the initial survey and demarcate the route, the proposal comes to the state government. So it is the state government who has to fill the trees, replant, etc. And if that has been done... But well, is not concise, sir. It is but, running to 60 pages. No, no, I'm not. I'm just showing you the Malad, Malad, state Malad, government. Malad, my, Malad, their report, Malad, I am praying. Malad, this... precise. His allegation is very, very simple. Yes, yes. A two-fold allegation. And you file a four volumes, thousands of no, no, pages no, 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 of no, annexures. No, two volumes. And who, who is interested about all these things? Malad, it's two volumes. Well, because Already some... there is no space to keep all these things. I, I, and I, we, I... we are sinking. No, no, I know that, Milot. This is your perhaps better than what is happening in NCLT because there the people are drowning under the papers. Lawyers that is and why the we are trying. members are drowning under the papers. That is the why papers we... are only seen. The people are not seen, only papers are seen. So if you are satisfied by seeing mass of papers, judiciary is fine. Otherwise, you make your own decision. That's why courts have gone paperless. Odisha has gone paperless. Well, I went once for doing an application to Singapore. I, I, I was taken by the local lawyer to the High Court there. I didn't want to find any papers. That was about 10 years back. Delhi High Court has gone paperless long back. Most of the courts. And if your lordship sees the manner in which the briefs are kept. He'll also go paperless. Subject to your cooperation. That, my lord, I am I'm a single person, my lord. I am no, in no. the sunset years now. The younger generation, they will have to decide. They are all, they are all People good. in the 20s and 30s, I am nearly retirement age now. You, you don't look like that. You know, I may not look like, but I feel like I joined in 1983. 83 now, 20, 2023. I joined very young. I joined at the age of 21, 22. First time my application was rejected because underage. Then I joined. And now 83, 82 I joined. Now it's 2023. I think I've had a fair innings, you know, I think I'm now it's getting saturated now. No, I think people, saturated. people much elderly. The tank you. is empty. No, no. <laughs> People much elder to you have switched over. When sitting in courtroom number 16, we see a couple of them are here also. They are not uh, elder to you, but then entire pleadings, they don't carry except uh, one knife. I have one and the pleadings are there, but I am not that... Uh... It's very easy. It's not so difficult as we think. See, initially with mobile phones, everybody had the same feeling. Now we... India is the largest user and WhatsApp, we are the highest customer base. The density in, is highest in India. Yes. In, the, in the world, we are the highest. So, if there is a will, if there is a mindset, we can do it. And all this could have been avoided. And what do you want us to do with this report, sir? But kindly see, but for all, all, for all of four of us, we'll go. We'll go and see that national aid. What but, Kindly see me like National Highway that... Uh, well, kindly see me like, uh, well, my prayer only at this present, well, my prayer, well, a report says now, it, now is part, Lord, it is pertinent to submit that the compensation on eco Cardi fields. Well, an ecological loss, the yes. forest department, government of West Bengal also stipulates certain condition for plantation, five times the number of trees proposed to be filled. Well, accordingly, leave up, they fell down well, 46,020 trees. Which are proposed to be failed, or two lakhs twenty-seven thousand of trees are proposed to be planted. Malad, my prayer, Malad, two lakh twenty-seven trees may be planted. Why? And Malad is a monitor, but your lordship directed by state. Malad, certain person Malad, to monitor this. Malad, they say is Malad, two lakh twenty-seven five thousand uh, five five hundred fifty trees will be, will be planted. Mm. But that trees will be planted.
but a growing trees for uh, the uh, 20 years trees but there is no but at present Malad, there is a removing process but the growing trees should be mm. Malad, but we have they cutted Malad, the 50000 trees because relocation Real. is a very very expensive affair. in bombay Malad, where the time of petroleum oil Malad, they are equally relocated but uh, if it is a very rare species, they will do it. Like a hundred year old tree, so it is a very huge rare species. But if it is a common uh, native species, which will grow without much effort, probably not a very value, good value in timber, and can be same type of variety can be replanted. Yes. See, that's the doctrine of sustainable development. We need roads, we need trees. So without roads, we can't be there. Now, yeah, the, even by six lane, eight lane, three years down, it's insufficient because of the influx of traffic. So, how to balance things? Two lane was made into six. Uh, lane. Uh, balance is, uh, my lord, they directed, to planted two lakh twenty seven thousand trees. Malad in up to Panagat to Malad Dankuri. Malad they Malad fell down fifty thousand trees. Malad two lakh twenty seven thousand. Uh, no, no, your senior friend has said five for every tree fell. Which uh, they have cut down, five trees will be planted. He himself says, that's being well. correct, but he yeah. says inadequate, only 27,000 or 25,000. So 2 lakhs, 27,000. 2 lakhs, 27,000. 27, you just know. show one paragraph of your report. No, I, I, I'll just show the affidavit filed by the principal secretary department of forest, government of West Bengal. A short, it's a thin affidavit. I don't want to take your lordship. And this, the, this is by uh, respond number 15 and 16. This is by one, two, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, this is this is a report. I'm just showing you affidavit. Remove it from the tag, it will be easy. Got one. On behalf of 15 and 16. 15 and 16. 15 and 16. 15 is the principal secretary department of forest government of West Bengal, and 16 is the divisional forest officer. He's in charge of that area. Now kindly see. Uh, I'll, I'll maybe work myself from backwards because the date date will be. Come in, convenient. 22721. Page number? Page number 16. And Iksha, Roman 7. Roman 6. Yes. That's who's got it. This is who's writing to who? Office of the Principal Chief Conservator Forest, Head of Forest. He's writing the Divisional Forest Office of Badawan Division. Mm. Development of National Corridor through 6 laning of Panagat Pulse Dankuni section up to NH6 connector of NH 19 in the state of West Bengal under so and so. Design change so and so, so and so. Palsit Dankuni, Panagat Palsit, BOT, toll mode, free felling permission required. Register your letter so and so. With reference to the subject and letter number mentioned above, I am directed to inform you that the Environment Department of the Government of West Bengal has corroborated the claim of National Highways Authority, Authority regarding the obtaining of environmental clearance from the Ministry of Environment and Forest and Climate Change Government of India. Hence, you are requested to take necessary action for felling of the trees as per provision of the West Bengal. So, felling is done by who? The Divisional Forest Office. I cannot go in and fell trees. That's why I was telling you a lot. I cannot you do can't, it. You can't. I can't. Then, it doesn't stop there. Can you come to page 14? This is 29621. Chief Conservator of Forest, Headquarters, so and so. Can you see? Last, in this perspective, a letter has been issued to National Highway by Senior Environment Engineer Provincial, wherein it was stated to note environmental clearance and consent from competent authorities to be obtained if applicable. If applicable, however, National Highway in the so and so copy enclosed stated that the project does not require any environmental clearance as per notification. And I will show that notification interpreted by the Supreme Court. Mm. The Supreme Court is saying it's not for us to judge why 100 kilometers or why more than 100 kilometers. Expert committee will decide that. Maybe sometimes it is required. But if we find that you've deliberately done it to avoid, then it's a different issue. But I cannot say all projects, people are doing it to avoid. Because for the government, what it is, they will public money. If I have to plant out of my private money, may not I will think twice. But if someone else's money is coming, I'll plant as many trees. How is it bothering me? How does it bother National Highway Authority? It's a public body. It gets public money. It plants trees. The more trees it plants, the more theft will happen. It's good for everybody. It's a self-defeating argument saying the National Highway Authority is not going to plant trees. A private person, you say, you can. I was no, cutting please. one branch in my house. 
the corporation came running. How are you cutting a branch? I said, the branch is going into the neighbor's house. He's complaining. And the tree is becoming weak. If there is a cyclone, it might tip over. So I'm doing it for benefit. No, pruning is required. No, no, if they you don't prune the trees. Take our permission. I said, I will not, not take any such permission. No, because if I like your permission, then people will come and ask 100 questions. I'm not, I don't have the time for that. No, page 14. Page the, 14, can you see? The, the divisional forest officer has written for a clarification because yes. large number of, huge number of trees has to be felled whether it will attract the provisions of the EIA notification. Yes. And then now it is again requested to kindly clarify the issues of certificate of environment clearance as required as so and so. For felling such a large number of trees along the stretch, so and so, with a width of row up to so and so, attracts the provision of environment impact assessment notification number so and so, it is so and so, or is exempted. Now it can be exempted, then, then can you see after 27, 9, 21, annexure. It's page 13. To the divisional forest officer, range officer, but the one where the trees are being replanted is writing. Submitting here with the report related to plantation work at National Highway 13 after joint field verification, personnel of block division, so and so. Whether plantation is according to map? Yes, according to the map. Plantation site is 80% plantation area in the felling area and 20% in the blank area. The plantation area is under filling. All the answers are given. Now, please come to page 9, sir. They have admitted that they can't plant the entire set. They will plant it in phases. That is there. <coughs> Whatever. Now, what see, that is our 21. We are in 23. It's all over now. You know, this application, sometimes it says, you know, we have to do it timely. Time is gone. It has been done. Maybe in 21 it was not done. But uh, even now, you can make a survey. If suppose some trees which are planted did not uh, come up no? or did, uh, it had fallen down or wilted away, you can ask the forest department to make, we'll make an order to that effect. Can, can you see this? Can you see the, uh, the judgment? This is not the first time it has happened or the Supreme Court. Can you see that? No, we are not on that. No, we are not saying that. Supreme Court says, Permission is not required in this case. Planting of trees. No, no. See, no, no. This uh, we, are not, we are not on that EIA notification. He, he sought for clarification, but EIA notification, according to you, will not apply. No. Well, prior approval is not required. Not required. That, that has, issue has become academic. Academic. Because the road has already come. Yes. His endeavor is, you have done damage. Whoever has done the damage to the environment, let something be done to at least... Yes. Uh, remedy 50% of the breach. No, no. One thing we can do, sir, as a national, uh, as a part of the Ministry of Road Transport, you please ask your project officer to inspect that stretch. If suppose 25,000 samplings or 30, 2 lakh, 75,000. 2 lakh, 27. That is done by the West Bengal government, not by me. And can you see the money I've given? That is there. Have, have the lordship seen me? Who appears for the state? State will not appear. Let them say whether they have received the money or not. If I pay 10 crores, and if they then don't the do state it, will inspect. Let the state inspect. Yes. Yes, but and also Malala, say appointed a special officer. Why special, special officer? Every day, then they not, not, a a not a single tree. Malala, not a single tree. Month, Malala, one month. No, no, let us I be. once, Malala, so when they are in a Durgapur or Malala, Birbhum, there is not a single tree, Malala, plantation. Malala, this is everything. Let a special officer. Let the state say, after but all, state, nobody is, he is, what is his name? let the state say what has happened, we have, if they have got the money, whether they have replanted or not. If they haven't, then the question arises. Otherwise, the question doesn't arise. You get instructions on that. Absolutely, man. No? Absolutely. The matter concerns the six laning of the National Corridor, NH19, from Palsit to Dankuni. The petitioner's grievance. And also, when I got to Palsit and Palsit to Dankuni. Ah, so on, so no, no, it is, it is from, Melod, if I, to be accurate, it is from Panagar to Palsit and Palsit to Dankuni. Ah. <laughs> the <laughs> main grievance of the uh, petitioner is that <laughs> thousands of trees have been felled for the project to be implemented. In, to be implemented. Affidavits have been filed by the uh, National Highways Authorities, pointing out that the project has been completed 
and sufficient funds have been released to the government of West Bengal to ensure that the norms fixed in such cases are strictly adhered by planting five trees for every one tree which has been felt. The petitioner's assertion is that there is not a single tree in the entire stretch. Alimeka, he said not a single tree. Yes. The, the learned uh, council appearing for the National Highways Authority of India would submit that planting of trees is not the uh, is not within the realm of the NHA, but it is the state government which has to do, and all that is required by NHA is to release the funds which have already been released. Therefore, we direct the concerned department of the government of West Bengal. Forest department, you know? uh, namely the forest department. Uh, instead of the concerned department, the, this is in uh, which district? Howrah district. Yeah, Pardhaman or also at the Howrah. The, um, what did they say? Pardhaman. Uh, no, okay, direct the divisional forest officer, Pardhaman, and divisional forest officer, Howrah. Division. Hugli also, Malad. Hugli also. Hugli. Hugli. And Divisional Forest Officer Hugli to conduct inspection of the stretch of the National Highway falling within their jurisdiction and submit a concise report as regards the number of trees which have been planted, the dates, the dates, uh, no, the month in which it was planted and whether the trees have survived and such other relevant information. Let this such uh, report be filed by the three authorities well before the next hearing date. List the matter on 13th June. That uh, this uh, two documents I have on about the money aspect. Mm. We have said that you have released the money. I mean, not over 10 crores. Way back in two years have happened, and after that, we are regularly paying for maintenance of those trees. Also. Uh, the NHA has released funds to the tune of rupees 10 crores. Apart from sanction, regularly sanctioning funds for maintenance of the trees. Look, to assist the Honorable Court, may I have copies of the red petition as well as the affidavits filed by the... If you want, we can give one of our copies. <laughs> you know, we have already given them. We have removed upon service to everyone. No, no. Petitioner. Petitioner, yes. You don't have any papers. Uh, I'm not engaged in this matter, Millard. I do not know. it. Whoever is engaged should have the papers. You check up. If uh, he doesn't have, otherwise... Printy, printing out so much. Well, or at least you give the writ petition alone. Yes, it's all right. Huh? Not that reports and all not required. Only that writ petition. Follow it down. Yeah, I mean, they say there is a letter from the West Bengal Forest Development Corporation saying that performance report and utilization certificate of the above work has been submitted by the Green Project Wing. Let us I see. don't know who they have submitted it to. Maybe state government because they are state government. Le uh, the truth will come out now. But may I get an urgent server copy? And then green green urgent green server green. copy of this order. Ah, yes. As soon as it will be uploaded. I'm grateful. Yeah. Some documents, if your lordship sees, I think this comes out from page 500 in volume. All right. We'll Thank you. And the amount of money which we have given to the funds and received. Bank transfer. I don't know what 37 and 38. May it please my lords. My lord, this is You have to say learn at senior advocate. You know, the double double kuramat is there. Back up, please. Okay. 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 May it please my lords. Yes. This, this public interest litigation concerns the plight of the horses that we see at, at, in Victoria uh, Memorial. I have yeah, been reading about your so two things. There are two things we are stressing. One is for the welfare of the horse. That's the primer, primary thing. And ultimate prayer, of course, is for stopping the carriages altogether because that's the, that's happened in Bombay. It's happened in Delhi. We have then, judgments. But, then but we are first say, concerned with the welfare of the horse. Yes, they'll say it's a tradition. No. No. So the, there are, all, your lordship knows in public interest litigation, there'll be all the, the man will, what will happen to their livelihood, et cetera, et cetera. But our first effort has been, my lord, since the last- And who will we'll do that? Since 2021, the first effort is for the welfare of the horses. There are laws in place. 
though they are scattered, the Hackney Carriage Act I'm trying to implement, 1919. Even there, there were regulations for the horses to be looked every annual one checkup. There were stables, etc. All that is not there. Now they give licenses. We did an RTI. These carriages are becoming bigger and bigger and fancier and fancier. There's a weight limit. Everything is there in the, in the laws. But there is no proper implementation of that. When we moved this writ petition about two years ago, Malad, the state was completely cooperating with us and they said this is not an adversarial litigation at all. Of course, now there are, I think, 32 applicants have come who are the owners of the horses. And your lordship will listen to them sometime. But the state said that they will come up with a comprehensive policy. This was happening from, 90, so if your lordship sees the order in August 2022, I'm starting, no, I'm starting midstream. That sort of sums up its exact uh, submissions I can make now also. 22nd of August 2022. If my lord takes that order, it's in the order sheet. Yes. So, so there also we had the petitioner submitted that though the petitions were filed in 21, no effective steps have been taken to improve the miserable condition. And every day the horses get hit by cars, etc. The record reflects that initially the council of the state had submitted the state is in the process of formulating the policy to improve the conditions of horses and a policy document will be produced in four weeks. Now that hasn't happened. They have done bits and pieces. We have got them to register the number of horses, who are the owners, etc. From there, and what was been happening over the two years is supplementary affidavits have been exchanged. So, so your lordship, this policy has not yet been formulated uh, completely. So that is number one. And thereafter, my lord, in the interim period, medical camps are being set up. And some once a month, I think it is set up. But it's it gives care to something is happening now that nothing is happening. But my lord, the last report on the last day it was heard. Of course, your lordships weren't there. I wasn't there also on that day. The state came up and said that the camps were going really well, but the petitioners had rescued two horses, and therefore the horse owners are boycotting our camp, as if we have done some crime by taking the horses with police permission, we took them to the hospital. There were two injured horses. Even yesterday, there was a horse on the way back from court, we saw it, and they have taken police permission and taken it to the veterinary hospital. Because when the they can't afford it, the horse owners are leaving it. And they are running across the roads and they're getting injured. This is one major problem. But the main problem is to look, there should be some check and balance to look after the horses on a regular basis. That is our real effort in this in this proceeding. But if the, the one, so what, uh, what is the stand of the horse owners? Yes, so the horse owners who had come, some of my learned friends, they said our horses are very healthy. We look after them, sure, etc. <laughs> but your lordship can see it. You, you are on behalf of the horse owners. My application is item number uh, can one, hmm. which is pending. Uh, we uh, allow your application. It has not what, is the, what is your prayer? My prayer is, Lord Shiva, I should be heard because I have be the heard. license under Your the horses have to be heard. I, I I should be heard, and Lord Shiva, the, my I have a license under Hackney Carriages. Doesn't Act. matter, sir. Doesn't matter. I'm taking care of my horses. There are so many ambassador taxis running here. Everything has got permit. Do you think that all taxis are fit to play on the road? There are so many private buses flying. Lord Shiva, so far breakneck speed. But you I so don't know whether they have got the requisite fitness certificate. Yes. Every month, at least three accidents. Hit the fender, hit the ma flyover, jumped over the barricade. Yes. Sir, rules are there in place. You are the proud owner of a horse. Owning a horse is a very, very uh, good thing. The white horse is uh, more valuable, etc. But if you don't have the wherewithal, to maintain the horse. If suppose somebody comes with a helping act, why do you kick them off? We, we do not. Ultimately, the horse will kick the owner. Our, our, my instruction is concerned. My applicants, they have... We will, the... we will direct a checkup or medical camp to be conducted in the next seven days. You yes. All of you fall in line. If you don't fall in line, the animals will be seized. Your licenses for the carriage will be cancelled. On one day, I am a personal witness to it. The horse was abandoned on the road, which is coming not while well going back, on the opposite side. It was on the knee. 
both the legs and the front legs or the knee drooling. There is nobody there. And these fellows grazed the uh, uh, horses in the Maidan area. There was uh, hardly any grass left. Sure, we do not have any hesitation to go for the uh, camps. No, no. If you resist, we know how to tackle. We will not resist. You are operating under license. You are owning an animal and you are bound by the rules. If there is any cruelty to the animal, not ah. only you will face prosecution, your livelihood will be affected. Yes. Manad, only one thing, Manad. I appear in IT. Horse owner. No, no, no. no. He is, we, we are both, we are both public, yeah, we, we are, are both petitioners. Because, 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 but some but members of Baba, you can own a part of a resource. The front two legs are more profitable <laughs> than the, you can, you can, the last two. You can own four or eight also. <laughs> but may I just indicate to your lordship, whether, whether there exists a regulatory framework. Who is to implement it? Who is to implement Secondly, Secondly, what is most important, in an affidavit used by the state government on uh, 14th of June 2022, they say Hmm. That we are going to amend the act hmm. that is Calcutta Hackney. Let that happen, sir. But then, part of the same order. Then, then the same order. And then they also say that they will formulate a scheme. Well, at six, I think now eight or nine months have since elapsed. Nothing has happened. Well, now we are for the upkeep and the maintenance of the horses, basically. If your lordship so, kindly takes for once. The issue is, sir. Uh, yes. Where the horse, where is the stable or where no, the horse There is no stable in Calcutta. So, therefore, Yes. Where in Maidan area you can't even park the car, we right. have so you can't have a stable. Those people don't have the money. We to... have our stables, Lord. Oh, where you have us? Lord, we I have. am appearing on behalf private, of private, private, private stables. stables. I have also filed several applications for it's on record. What are the applications here? For addition, addition of party. party. We will allow all your applications. Yes, yes. Lordship. Sir, all can applications yes. for additional no. parties. Allowed stands disposed. One don't uh, put it in the castle. One prayer, Lord Chief. You remove it from the file. Lord Chief, let the medical test be done by the government or the municipal corporation. No, we will identify the Lord veterinary Lord. sciences department. Lord Chief, that huh? and first they will not only check your horses, they will check your stable also. Lord Chief. So it's very, very important. The stable has to be one indulgence for Lord. Assuming he is a registration, still it, he can be a defaulter. Right, right. Sir, enforcing right. mechanism. Yes, let us forget about ah, So therefore, registration, if suppose, let us assume, right. four of his clients. Right. Three have got license, one doesn't have. Right. But he has got a decent stable. Right. Maybe we can so. ask him to apply, grant a license. Right, right, right. But there is no difficulty. That is no issues at all. While expending. No, we will ask them to consider. Probably they will say you will have to do X, Y, Z. My you Lord. comply with yes. this. My Lord. First is the health condition. S suppose it is unfit to be draw a very big carriage for 15 days. And the vet says that it should be given rest. You have to. Lord. Because the economic level from which your clients come, it is very hard to make them understand. I am. They will say, I know my horse better than you. Which is why I tell you, Lord Chief, their livelihood is in danger because of this. Uh, All right, the horse is in danger. Either way, it's in danger. The animals as well as the horse owners has to be... The horse seen, dies, he's in together. danger. No, no, if the horse dies, it becomes uh, incapacitated. You, you are... Uh, regulate the, to regulate the whole system, there is an act, my Lord. That is what my submission is. Acts are all useless, sir. Unless you have a mindset to be open and take the opinion of the doctor, Suppose he falls sick and he goes to the doctor and the doctor says, take yes. rest for three days. I understand. I exactly. a... we, we, we will be following that Lordship, provided Lordship kindly direct the animal husbandry department of the government or any of the government hospital, not at the instance of the PETA. Or... No, your Lordship will see so the instance of the petition. We want the government to do it. We don't want to do it. Hello, only one says we. May I file? How many horses are there totally? About 200 and... 208, eight, they say, eight. as per their last record. As traffic. per their last record, is 208. 208. Eight. And all of them are uh, roaming here. They are only allowed here. They, uh, elsewhere, they are... All of them are not belong, no, 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 belonging no, no, no. to the uh, the owners. 
एवरीथिंग informally well, i would let us let us first proceed on the base of conscience we'll take into yes. technicalities right, later but well, kindly we will see the last part of the order sarji who is the uh, department well, which animal dip- husbandry department carries on this hmm. venture mila lord we have so de- from day after tomorrow but of course the new year is coming they will all be busy is it 14 15th is a holiday from uh, that's when they really tra- make the horses stru- struggle also the, but, you know uh, we can't be having a camp from 17th you start the camp but they is melody by, by an order direction, there is a direction part for... of that order 22nd yes, yes i we saw yes. that a committee was constituted melody what don't work won't work well only one submission melody he will Please. be saying leave of absence but the we, we, we are filing an exception to the report no 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 filed not by the today, state sir, not, today. not today he is not able to carry the load <laughs> <laughs> only one thing mela do if you lost this because of those trees but i'll ta- i'll take back the i'll take stuff. back the exception please, i'll take no no you please have it no <laughs> the, this public interest letter these public interest petitions uh, have been filed exposing the cause of the cause of the horses which draw carriages near the victoria 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 memorial, memorial and the maidan area ah. um plead uh, uh, the horse owner some of the horse owners have sought to implead themselves in the writ petition which applications have been allowed we have heard the learned uh, uh, advocates for the writ petitioners as well as the learned advocates for the horse owners and the learned uh, government council several directions have been passed in this uh, in these writ petitions from time to time and it appears that they have not yielded the desired result it is not clear as to uh, what are the road blocks which prevent the concerned persons to effectively implement the directions be that as it may as a first measure we issue the following direction the director of animal husbandry and animal i mean animal husbandry department shall constitute a team of veterinary doctors and assistance and commence a medical a commence a medical inspection camp of all the horses in the maidan area from 17th april 2023 while conducting the uh, medical camp uh, the particulars regarding the owners of the horses the license number etc shall also be noted in case licenses are not there that those details shall also be noted the health condition of all the horses be examined and uh, if any emergency treatment is to be extended the same shall be extended to those horses free of cost um based on such um, medical camp a report can be prepared and submitted to this court to enable the court to issue further appropriate direction well there's two things matter well at first of all matter there has to be two licenses one for the carriage another for the horse under first we will see the horse yes ma'am. then the carriage well only one thing without the horse oh, the carriage there can, cannot be carriage well only one thing matter matter uh, there is a motorized carriages have come in yes. i think in which city i e carriages mumbai matter well, victorias in mumbai have been yeah. now taken off the road but it doesn't have the horse no even a uh, even a, what is a oh. image of a horse is not there some fellows driving like a <laughs> just e rickshaw e rickshaw but only one ballot key medical the camp the children itself is the gallop of the horse those two things huh? and people who come from rural areas but they can have rocking horses in their houses no malar <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. only one submission malar subject to lawship's kind consideration ha ha how they go the uh, the report shall also make appropriate recommendation 
based on the findings during the medical care. Well, only one thing, my lord. We uh, the representatives of the petitioners were allowed to. Then we will ask you to adopt all those sources which can't. Well, so they are very difficult. Lord, what has happened? Man, even uh, are very yes. difficult, sir. In now in Kerala, sir. Pita, man, my client is ready to take. Yes, How many yes. horses? All, all of them. Man, no, no, man, man, not ready, ready to give. I don't know. All the horses. No, no, I don't know. In Ali, they are not ready to give. Wait, wait, wait. In Alipur Zoo, I don't know what's it. In the, the zoo where, from the state where I come, yes, you can adopt. And lot of these cricket players and of the like and uh, top industrialists yes. can adopt. And when there is a cub born, if you adopt. Uh, a tigress, yes. you will be given the first preference to name the cup. <laughs> Normally, it is done by the chief minister or somebody will name the cup. So, you can adopt. What you do is, he will be the owner of the horse. Yes. You adopt his horse. You that pay for Peter can do, my lord. That Peter can do. Huh? You'll they do can, it. they can. No, they but can. how much will it cost to maintain fodder? Media, uh, that, Peter, um, Peter, that Peter will take it. That Peter, that is my instruction. My a... client is ready to adopt. But I had done a, a litigation like this. We rescued an elephant. Ah. 300 ton, or three tons of food per day. There was no one to pay for it. We were, we were <laughs> a difficult. big problem. Then we got a, the order of court, the state Trishur. sanction. Now, after the three Trishur, tons a day. They eat. In Kerala, the Trishur Puram festival happens. Yes. Now, it's all some of them are mechanized uh, elephants because it's not safe, number one. Anyway. They run amok. Right. Secondly, is cruelty. Cruelty. Well, but the notice should be given to the petition. I'll tell your lordship why earlier also one camp was held. We went. We will trust Mr. Chatterjee so we, and he. Well, we went to the camp. It was the report no, was done. Don't precipitate they for the present. The doctor the second time. We had to challenge the second report within the six but hours. They the no, no. If, if the doctor makes some mistake, he will lose his job. No, that is true. But, but only, once, only will be present. With, no, no. So there. we know when the camp is there. Yes. Not required. The learned advocate appearing for the petitioner submitted hmm. that the petitioner should be put on notice. Right. The petitioners are NGOs yes. who uh, who uh, are who have been established to protect the interest of animals and protect cruelty to animals. In our considered view, we have issued the above direction, reposing utmost confidence and faith right. in the right. state government department right. and every and the and the. Doctors who are and the veterinarians, not doctors, veterinarians who are deputed to conduct the camp should shall do so with utmost seriousness and sincerity. And any deviation or uh, in the manner in which the report, in the manner in which the camp is conducted and report is submitted, is found to be not in order. Come on, the court may be constrained to issue stringent. Directions. Well, can there be a direction for videographing the entire process? You will pay for it. Uh, we will pay for it. Lord Shiva, may I be such one thing? Lord cell phone, my lord. Only cellular you phone. take some photographs also. Yes. Uh, the uh, inspecting team we shall also take uh, make arrangements for photographs being taken hmm, during the camp. Uh, Lord Shiva, uh, may I be such one thing? May we get the copy of the report, medical report, once it is done? Let it come to us first. So that we can see that. He'll <laughs> get copy. for his own horse. He's got one no, horse. He's one horse. Let me kindly clarify one thing. Your Lordship has directed holding of camp on 17th. 17th onwards. Onwards. Huh. One day you can't finish. For how many days, my Lord? Can, can my Lord, the matter is made returnable, days. my Lord. The matter is made returnable on, my Lord. Let any directions of the horse owners to make the horses available uh, in such camp? Needless to state, the horse owners, some of whom have already been made parties to the writ petition, shall extend full cooperation. Otherwise, uh, no, failing which, uh, the uh, uh, the veterinarians who are, or who are will be conducting the camp are permitted to take police help. We are grateful, my lord. May I get a urgent, so I, sir? Uh, well, returnable on returnable my... on eighth May. Well, may I get a urgent server copy? Minute? Yes, eighth May server okay. copy urgent. <laughs> yes. Urgent server copy. This is 35, 36, 37, 38. 37. These are 30 all can application allowed. The entire thing, whatever they want, is granted. Oblige, man. <laughs> Item number 39. But I appear for the state. Hmm. Possibly nobody will appear because the problem has been sorted out. 
started out that they won't come the report is that report filed by the state respondents none appears for the petitioner even on the earlier day hearing date that is on 7th february 2023 14 11 2022 none appears for the uh, kindly indicate my note that the petitioner has already withdrawn his uh, complaint which is the re respondent has filed a report enclosing all the relevant documents page number page 13 of the report and uh, one three one three Could I hand up my copy? This one? Small one. Ah, yes. 39. And uh, it is pointed out by the learned advocate appearing for the respondent state that the petitioner by letter dated 1-2-2021 Kama has withdrawn his complaint, having been satisfied with the steps taken by the respondent. In the light of the above, no further orders are required in this reposition and the same stands disposed of. Next. I don't know, 40. May I please the Lordship? I am for the petition. My Lord, public interest litigation, my Lord. The private respondent had promoted unauthorized construction. Unauthorized construction. Four floors. Four, four building, four floors. Photograph is there? Yes, yes, yes I have. No, my Lord, I have filed my Lord, my affidavit in opposition. My Lord, I'm coming. No, no, we, we, my Lord, there, there is no planning permission. Road width is 20 feet road. No, my Lord. And you are constructed for. First of all, my Lord, I am challenging the maintainability of the lead petition, my Lord, regarding the status of the petition, my Lord. Lots of kindly see. We will discharge the petitioner. Lots of kindly see. Paragraph 3 is. My Lord, we will make the one. One. My Lord, my Lord, Amigas. my Lord, petitioner my Lord. has lodged a complaint with the, my Lord, Havra city police that, my Lord, he has not signed this petition. Maybe, maybe. We will, will discharge, of... we will discharge. We will, direct, we will direct the commissioner, Hora municipality, to inspect the building tomorrow. Mal. And if there is illegal, unauthorized construction, the building will be sealed. You will be issued notice. No, we will not. We will not go into any allegation. No, we will not. Lots of kindly see, lots of kindly see my affidavit in opposition. We not. There are three buildings. Not. They have one no. was regularized. No, wait. Well, another well, civil case he, is there. He will not only inspect your building, he will inspect your neighbors also. Mal. Mal. Whatever good happens to you will happen to your neighbor also. Mal. By this petition, styled as a public interest litigation, the petitioner points out that the respondents 5 and 6 have put up in unauthorized illegal construction by, con by constructing a multi storied building without any planning permission slash deviation uh, planning permission. The petition, the respondents 5 and 6 have filed an affidavit in opposition objecting to the maintainability of the writ petition, have made certain allegations against the writ petitioner, and also points out that there are other buildings which have been constructed and the municipality, municipal corporation has regularized the same. If the municipal corporation has committed an illegality, in regularizing an unauthorized construction or illegal construction, then the commissioner of the concerned municipality has to be prosecuted. The commissioner and the officers of the municipality have to be prosecuted. In any event, there cannot be any <laughs> equality in an illegality. Therefore, we do not propose to go into any of the allegations made by the petitioner, which are personal against the fifth and sixth respondent, Equally, the allegations made by the fifth and sixth respondent in their affidavit in opposition regarding the locus standi of the writ petitioner, because it is the municipal corporation which is the watchdog, which needs to take action. If the municipal corporation has failed to perform its duties and allowed blatant violation of the building rules, then all the officers of the corporation have to be prosecuted. The photographs annexed in the writ petition show 
that not only the respondents, uh, respondent five and six, uh, has put up construction. There are other constructions which have been put up, which are fully completed and occupied. Therefore, we direct the fourth respondent to inspect the building constructed by the fifth and sixth respondent within a week from date. And if there is any unauthorized or illegal construction, action should be taken within three days from the date of completion of the inspection by following the due process of law, by putting the respondents five and six on notice and following the, and strictly adhering to, no, not following, strictly adhering to the relevant rules and regulations. Since the re respondents five and six have stated that there are other buildings. Well, I am, I am well, I am appearing only for respondent five. Well. five. The, learner, uh, the, the fifth respondent has stated that apart from the, that, that there are several other buildings which have been uh, constructed like that of the building put up by the fifth respondent. If that be so, the commissioner is directed to inspect all such building in the vicinity and wherever illegal or unauthorized construction has been put up, notices should be issued to those building owners, uh, developers, um, or slash occupants, and action be taken in accordance with the law. Disposed. Item number 41. When, when the inspection is conducted, the respondents 5 and 6 shall uh, furnish all particulars and information called for from the authorities to justify their stand. Next. I don't know, 41. So I am for the private respondent in this matter. The affidavits have been exchanged in this matter. There was an allegation. Independent committee to drop out to calculate the number of dropouts. No, this is for the petition. For the petition, forty-one. Ah, forty-one. And uh, dropouts, school yes, dropouts. Yes, a school dropout. Lordship, this petition was filed in the pretext of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, and after that, we filed that for the opening of the school. That was the first prayer. And after that, Lordship, we found that there is a huge number of students who have been dropped out during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, there are se several uh, news reports has subsequently been published, which shows that almost 4 lakhs students, the number of the board level examining have been reduced in a drastic manner in this year. Now, Lordship, so far this is concerned, Lordship, let the state come with the policy. What are the policy they are going to adopt? It's up to the state. Now, what, what do you want in this? You now, the policy of the state regarding the uh, policy of the state is to sensitize people, go on a door to door as well as, as well as lordship, the condition of the schools. The, suppose the economic condition of the parents are so, and there is no school nearby, government school doesn't have teachers. Where will they send? It is very easy for you to file a requisition. You, as an NGO, take up the matter. You as an, if you are an NGO, you take up the matter. We will say that, see, you can't drag a child out of the home and say you go to the school. First, you need to convince the parents. Because wherever there is BD rolling industry, dropouts will be made. Now, here, Lord Shri, after COVID-19 pandemic, Lord Shri, You make suggestions. Situation. You make suggestions. Who are you? You are an educator. I am an advocate. Huh? This, this petitioner is an advocate, advocate. of this. Well, if he is... Uh, Got some suggestions, let him make such suggestions. Okay. By this red petition, please take down, sir. Uh, uh, designed as a public interest litigation, the petitioner who was a practicing advocate before this court highlights the uh, plight of, uh, highlights a very important issue regarding the dropout of students from various schools, in particular government schools. It, it is uh, the case of the writ petitioner that during the COVID pandemic on account of uh, uh, the, the classes being disrupted and the lack of facility for uh, online classes, etc., there were a large number of students who dropped out from government schools. Therefore, the petitioner seeks for appropriate direction to the respondent to remedy the situation. The petitioner being an advocate practicing before this court, and he has he be 
uh, and uh, if the petitioner has any suggestions in this regard, the same can very well be placed before the director of uh, Commissioner of School Education. Commissioner, Commissioner of School Education. That apart, the Commission of School Education shall also call for reports from the various districts as regards the student strength in the respective schools, pre-COVID and post-COVID. And uh, necessary steps can be taken uh, to sensitize the parents of those children regarding the, the <clears throat> need for education and incentivize those children by providing a clean atmosphere, good drinking water. What about food? Noon meal is there? That uh, midday meal is there. Midday, uh, midday meals, etc. Huh? The suggestions, if any, suggested, the, the suggestions, if any, as may be suggested by the writ petitioner, shall also be taken note of by this Commission of School Education. We hope and trust. In this regard, uh, in this regard, a wide publication can be given in the media uh, um, um, and in television channels, uh, impressing upon the need for good education for the children, regardless of whatever strata the parents hail from. In light of right to uh, children to free and compulsory education. Don't complicate. <laughs> they have a right to this act means what is the act they will do. Uh, we hope and trust that uh, the observations made by the my, made by us in this order will be taken in the right spirit and the government will be proactive. We remain grateful, the Lord. Grateful. Proactive. So. With the grievance expressed, disposed of. Next. Grateful, Lord. Lord, I'm for the petition, my Lord. Now, this red I do not have 42. Hmm. Now, this red petition has been filed in the interest of large number of general public who avails public transport being private buses and the public buses, mini buses. Mm. Lord, there are three, four grievances, my lord. Mm. My lord, neither the approved fare, which is being fixed in terms of section 67 of the motor vehicle. It has to be displayed in the board. Yes, my lord. My yes. second point is that it has to be displayed, my lord, in terms of section 72, subsection 2 of the condition. If laid they don't display it, they can take action. And my lord, the third grievance is that a rule book, a complaint book is required to be maintained under rule 175. Complaint book is difficult in the main. What they can do is they can give a, a phone number. Lord, but the thing is that maximum time, those phone numbers will be either off or my lord, engage my lord. A fictitious no, no. phone number or not the bus owner, my lord, by, by the regional transport officer, my lord. That can be done, my lord. But the statute provides, my lord. The reason being is that if, if a, any passenger faces any difficulties in the midst of the journey, because not do you imagine you the conductor to hand over the book, sir? Please write a complaint against me. I will take it to my so bus. for that reason, my lord. The, that book is required to be maintained both as the stand as as, as well as my lord. Correct. Statutory my lord. requirement is there. My lord. You have come with the PIL. We will direct that the fares should be displayed, my lord. prominently displayed, my lord. in both in vernacular and in English language, my lord. so that the passengers will know point A to point B. This my is lord. the fare. Number two. So far as the grievance or complaints, my lord, was rash driving, my lord, seats leaky roof, my lord. You can bring it to the notice of the concerned regional transport officer my lord. whose uh, complaint or toll free number my lord. can be displayed. My lord. Now, there is one more aspect. AG is there. AG is agreed. Now, there is now, there's one more aspect, my lord. If my lord be kind enough to see, order it at 22nd February 2022. This is the best order. My lord, wherein a direct... See, once we pass this order, a violate you come on contempt, we will finish them. <laughs> we will deal with them. <laughs> My so what are the difference fields? My 22nd February 2022, my lord, this honorable court had directed the state respondent to file a report in the form of affidavit. Required. The my report lord. will not come. My report has come, but only a perfunctory ah. report, my lord. Exchange of letters. Therefore, a mandamus has to be issued by this report. My lord, may I file the exception to the report, exception my lord. Exception to the report, on uh, My this report petition styled as a public interest report, uh, litigation. The petitioner ex exhibits certain. A petitioner seeks for appropriate directions with regard to the private buses and mini buses flying in different routes within the state of West Bengal. Why did I appear, Lord Shiv, in the matter for the state? <clears throat> Thank you, sir. The first grievance is with regard to the fares for the different routes and which are not displayed in the uh, buses in terms of which rule? 
Section uh, 67, my lord. Section 67 of the Motor, Motor, Vehicle Vehicle Act. Suits, Motor Vehicles Act. The second aspect is that approved it, fare is required to be charged. The approved fare has also to be displayed. Is required to be charged, my lord. They are right. not. The second aspect is the approved fare table should be adhered to and no additional fare shall be collected from any passenger. The third aspect is that a complaint book should be maintained in terms of Rule 175 of the West Bengal Motor Vehicle Rules, 1989. So far as the first two grievances are concerned, uh, the petitioner is well justified because it is being a statutory requirement. The, uh, bus, the private buses and minibuses flying in different routes within the state of West Bengal are bound to adhere. If they fail to adhere, the concerned regional transport officer shall be entitled to make a check report and initiate appropriate action against those violators. The, the, there will be, a, the, therefore, there will be a direction to the um, uh, Commissioner of Transport, uh, State Transport Authority, to the uh, Secretary Transport Department to issue a directive to the his officers to ensure that that the that all the private buses and minibuses should exhibit the approved fare table in the buses, inside the buses in a prominent manner. And this shall be implemented, directed to be implemented within a period of four weeks from date. In case any complaint is received by the authorities of the transport department about overcharging of the more above charging over and approved over and more uh, above sorry over and above the approved fare those complaints should be dealt with promptly and if found to be true action should be initiated by the transport authorities with regard to the third aspect namely regard maintenance of the complaint book Come on. Though, though we are conscious of the fact that it is a statutory requirement, but nevertheless, in the current scenario, uh, physical uh, maintenance of physical complaint book um, has not has proved to be ineffective. Therefore, we direct that a toll-free number or a dedicated mobile number. Uh, assigned by the transport department of that area shall be directed to be promptly, prominently displayed inside and outside the private buses and minibuses. And if any of the commuters have any grievance, they will be entitled to call those numbers or send messages to the numbers, which should be uh, which should be recorded in a in a register, and action should be taken. In accordance with the law. With the above observation, request for Next. Next. And already, already, only small submission will already we have taken action and notification has been made. Even then, my lord, Sir, every observation has to be not seek Some it. surprise check when you are making for the permit check, etc. Not seen. This also can be checked. You can give a check report. Like 15 check reports, suspension of permit. Automatically, the fellow will fall in range. Grateful. Grateful. Grateful, lord. I don't know, 43. That would be true. It's my application. I appear for the petition. This is the case, my lord, where scheduled tribe land, as your lordship knows, my lord, in our state, hmm. as in all states in India, lord, there is a restrictive clause. Can't lord, be transferred. Lord, it is most surprising that the under the facade of the West Bengal Housing Board, which claims to be Ganges water solidified, my lord, a private promoter, and surprisingly more than that, my lord, the State Bank of India has loaned crores of public money to a public pro private promoter, Milord, in raising a high posh building complex meant for the higher upper crust of society, Milord, there is no 14C, not a whisper. Milord, I write to the West Bengal board that do you have 14C? These are tribal land. The answer that I get, Milord, I have annexed in my repetition, is a clear no. Milord, I write to the land revenue authorities. That is there any application for 14C with respect to these set of plots of land? Not twice. Once I before I filed the petition, 
and then once again when the petition is on board they confirm that there is no records as per any application filed 14c so look this is an out and out grabbing of tribal land which is an all india problem it has manifested once again here lord i am just merely lord i do not know much law but whatever little that i have been able to gather my lord yeah, this is true this is a candid confession lord i am not an expert that i will stand here and deliver lectures but the only thing which bothers my conscience is lord article 244 lord the private promoter this is where i can at least submit your lordship lord this is your day to day affair lord i have some experience he has taken four dates to file affidavits in opposition four dates this is the fourth occasion i don't have the affidavit in opposition in my hand of the private promoter merlin when merlin is a name my lord which is a very very famous name my lord it means merlin the magician my lord i am seeing new magic in my 24th year of practice here four dates to file an affidavit they come first i remember those i am making a statement that they say they have 14c they lead the court by saying i have 14c and i have they filed it today no i don't have it i appear for respond number 15 murat without murat this murat i appear for respond number 15 murat i appear for murat murat i have my affidavit ready it was murat a form before but murat uh, was notarized so murat i no you could have served it uh, here and you could have done that it's 410 but and you have been sitting here all through so minimum courtesy you extend this but i had notarized it and just say one thing you can go for that notary will not be done anymore Now that's we are found before. No, who actually as per the order passed by the then honourable chief justice, learned counsel for respondent submit other similar proceeding. He seeks time to file after it in a proceeding, including so and so, filed within a week. That is on thirteenth December. I am out. Out of time. We will accept it subject to payment of cost. Yeah. Right. That's not going to hurt your client, but it will help our state legal services author. AG knows our position better. <laughs> At least uh, we can give some for national government. We can give some uh, evening, some samosa tea for some people. One lakh. I give for not for a cost of one lakh. Because I tell you, one lakh is nothing. But I tell you, Doctor Gotti. My goodness, I don't know who you are. One lakh. In courtroom, sixteen people, one lakh. They have never objected. What is that? And well, I have a small pair to this submission. You are not going to get the cost. No, no, no. SLA say will get. No, my small pair, my very humble pair of poor tribals are. Okay. You color. right and now, sir, you file your affidavit in opposition. I mean, sorry, affidavit in reply. If you want to, we will assign a date probably first uh, of May. I have no problem with date, my lord. But only one pair. But by, by now the construction is over. No, my lord, construction. I do not know. I will not inform the court. But it's but, not. But but right now, but but there is a but but this but complaint made by them, and but that has been now but uh, and uh, report has come in which says but there has been no land grabbing, nothing about it. I have annexed that but I have. That we will hear you on merits. Yes. Um, in terms of the directions issued by the under division bench, where they order dated thirteenth December twenty twenty two. affidavit in opposition of the fifth respondent ought to have been filed within a week from the said from the date of the said order the learned advocate appearing for the uh, 15th res respondent number 15 submitted that there was some delay in getting the affidavit affirmed and uh, seeks permission leave seeks leave of this court to file the affidavit in opposition let the copy of the affidavit in opposition be first served on the learned advocate appearing for the writ petitioner and the other and the uh, and the uh, and the learned government council and other respondents and be filed in this court and this affidavit will be taken on record subject to payment of cost of rupees 1 lakh payable to the west bengal state legal services authority within 3 days from date the uh, as soon as the cost is remitted proof of payment of the cost shall be filed with the department which shall be taken on record the uh the writ petitioner is granted li uh, leave to file affidavit in reply if uh, if needed and let the matter be uh, listed on 1st may lord may i have one small in the in the daily list yeah. one one small pair i have lord if your lordship could please
uh, one lakh. We are impose. We are inclined to impose such cost by taking into consideration the number of times indulgence was granted to the fifteenth respondent to file the affidavit in opposition. Yes, what is that? To, uh, if you have time to run a week's time to run a trip. Yeah. He transfer what is he will transfer it to your account, you are clerk's account, you take a DD or uh, hey, this year or year or all. But odd, he can, are all gone. But odd, he can also use the Merlin's magic wand to transfer. But this Merlin, I think uh, uh, Mermaid is the logo, no? Your client's logo. Mermaid. Mer mer I have not heard from this. <laughs> I have seen somewhere. They have got projects in Bangalore also. They do projects in Karnataka also, I think. This is Bengal Merlin. I think Mallard, that is different. That is different. different. Oh, that is Merlin. Mallard, here it's a triangle, Mallard. <laughs> but he is projecting your client as uh... all right. We'll stop with this. I'll stop. Let only let one thing that I if your lordship kindly consider, not if it commends your lordship, but Marlin may not start creating any more third party rights. That thing will happen, sir. So you'll take time to pay the cost, etc. Discussion will go on. We will come back the next year. Very well, we we'll stop you. with this, sir. Huh? Well, may I have a copy? Well, we are calculating huh. how much time. My Lord, before the pending PIS, my Lord, my Lord, I've made a prediction. Uh, no, no. <laughs> yes, sir, some see, uh, there should be a lot of seriousness to the PIS. No, no, I agree, my Lord. Fully, my Lord. I, I, I agree, my Lord. Shobik. 